Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Hey, one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change the sir. Real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. Hey, there's only one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. And it's sir. Real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do real fucking things. All right. I'ma keep a general just like the army Most real niggas know, most niggas phony Your shadow got your back, huh? Just like your homie That's why shady niggas will harm thee Just act Caesar Brutus got him and caught him before his last breather If that don't make you believe us, then you'll learn Honesty is a quality that will burn But it's cool, and trust is a quality you will earn You a fool if you think you learn all of the rules Imitate and imitation and they call it they're cool. I know a little bit, but go ahead and call me a fool. While you sprinkle sugar on shit and you calling it food. See, I'm just trying to groove and you standing on the wall with your hands on your balls, making crab claws move. Trying to bonk at a dog, but I don't bonk. I just fall back till you think you're winning, but you lost in the beginning. Yes, I have, boy. I grew up on Reggie's. Rolling up bitches and keep moving. What you talking about? She said Reggie's. <laughs> I ain't said Reggie's boy, don't try to play me like that. You wanna check the tape? Oh, no, no. Yeah, we can check the tape. On top of that, you used to have a shoebox, you know what I'm saying, with the top just to catch the seeds and the sticks. Come on, man. Don't, don't, don't check my OG card. I used to always say, like, if I had food for the weeds, I would go see you know, one plant. Out of 10,000 seeds I had over here. I stand by it's not smart to grow unless you got your own fucking like house and your own land, you feel me? Because I ain't about to be growing this while I'm renting or I'm in somebody's apartment or what have you. And yeah, you know, you could just come in at any time. Who is this? You dig? Nah, fuck all that. <laughs> fuck all that, son. Nigga thought about it, I mean, of course, because you because I think every booty smoker has always thought about, yeah, yeah, man, so I ain't got to worry about that bill or buying this shit. Grow my own shit and smoke my own shit. Yeah, but motherfuckers that, underestimate yeah. how hard it is to actually grow right. some good weed. See, so that a nigga just can't wake up one day and be person. a botanist? Yeah, <laughs> and that's it is really botany. That's really what it is, dog. Like, that shit is a whole entire process. Huh? This is a fucking plant. And all is a plant is a different type of plant that it has to use for medical reasons and high other reasons, dog. Like, you gotta, you know how, that's so much science in that shit, nigga. You giving life right quick, nigga. And then don't 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 let me get started on if you're doing an indoor, outdoor, or greenhouse in it. Bitch, you look like a greenhouse. Bitch, you smell like outdoor. <laughs> I'll be that. That's fine. You'll be indoor, boy. I mean, it's all, it's all gravy. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Never doing anything like that again. What have you done? I'm talking about, oh, I, well, I'm talking <laughs> oh, about off mic. So deep. What have you done? But I was talking about off mic, man. Like, uh, they, had this, they got this Facebook, like, chain letter thing. I ain't taking as oh, a chain damn. letter thing. Yeah. yeah. And you freaking, uh. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> and what it's the say, fuck are you doing? Okay. It's, it's basically, I'll tell you what my favorite picture of yours is if you, um, if you answer some questions and they already, and like, you know what I mean? I already got caught. So it was like three questions that the other people answer, whatever. And um, then, you know, you, you find that bitch. But then when you have like 50 motherfuckers all putting the X there, and now you got to go through, <laughs> right? Now you got, and then you keep getting these DMs. Then you got to go through all these pitches. And like at first I thought I'd just be like a little fun little thing to kill time this morning while I'm waiting on y'all to come through for the podcast. And then when I started getting more and more and more DMs, I realized, wait, wait. Son, I, saw <laughs> I just took on the responsibility I just now. Like, no, Mario, no. You don't ask the public for questions to give oh, you, no. No, 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 no. They're not giving me questions. I have to, I'll give them questions because the questions is like three questions they got to answer. Like they got to answer that. No, you don't. No, you don't give them a chance. Yeah, because the questions is like um um what's something you always want to tell me? Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 not these. Some trap. It's like it's like three questions. It was like trap three, questions. And and then after they ask them the questions, then you find a picture or whatever of theirs no. that you like. But the problem ain't the questions. Uh, all the DMs, you can always turn that shit off. It's, damn, since they took the time to answer the motherfucking questions, you do owe them to find a picture of those who they like, and then you got taken, damn, you're going to go shit. through 
all, all these, these proof. I know you really don't owe shit, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. The level no, of damn. No, no, no. They, 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 you they took the time. Game yeah. That you set up. Yeah. You might as well help them finish the game. And I got to finish the off. game. But then I'm like, damn, I set myself up by even starting the game. Let you know who you are as a person? <laughs> yeah, because I get... the fourth person, you're like, man, yeah. game over. Bruh, exactly. Exactly. It ain't even nothing personal or nobody's playing it, dog. But just exactly what you said. Just knowing how I am at a point, I already know, like, because it would really happen, like, person four by person four or five, I'm going through the pitches. I'm like... Damn, why, why, why I do this? So that's that's just, I, ain't gonna lie, I saw problems on that in different ways of different things. Why I do this? I was like, mm, mm, mm. And it was fun. Like, the first couple was fun. And then it was, it was it like, was entertaining. and then it was like, damn, no, you I don't. Know, you just like punishment, bro. And then the people, and the answer, and <laughs> dude, and some of the answers that people are giving to the questions are really pretty interesting. Like, I, that's the thing. Like, some people are actually thinking and being like, oh, no, whoop. Or, oh, and I'm like, oh, that's fuck, that's what's cool. That's what's up. I can't wait for somebody that he know in the city. It's like some dude that know would be like, I always want to tell you that you're cute. I mean, some yeah. some dude kind of already did that. Did, did you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I but mean, he he a nigga, but he a gay nigga, so that I already knew was gay. And he got no, a man and shit, so it's not, well, you oh, know no, what I mean. Then, then he just flirting me, having, but yeah, I'm about a nigga that's like you know. <laughs> you mean a cat that's like on some DL shit? Like someone was gonna tell you. Martin, where's that with? <laughs> it was hand with. You talking about some DL shit or uh, out nigga? Because if it was an out nigga, I wouldn't be like that tripped out because it's just like the girl shooting her shot. Like, whoever's attracted to niggas is going to shoot their shot at niggas. I mean, a nigga shoot a shot if he DL or not. See, if he DL, it's weirder to me than if he not, is what I'm saying. What makes it weirder? Because if he out, it's a gay dude just shooting his shot, seeing where I'm at with it. Just like if a woman was shooting her shot, seeing where I'm at with it. But if it's a nigga like, it's like, it's like yo, one of y'all niggas out the blue, y'all street. Everybody know y'all niggas that like women. Right, now the blue, like y'all jumping some nigga, y'all ju you jumping some nigga, fucking DMing like, like yeah, hey, yo, hey bro, hey bro, I want fuck. <laughs> if somebody told me that shit, like man, Seth, Seth was in my fucking DM telling me he wanted to smash, bash. You show your nigga straight. I'll be like, wait, Seth was what? <laughs> like, wait. Show me the Carfax, man. Son, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes you, that's what, ah, that's weird. That's yeah, weird, yeah, son. I guess in you look like that. Yeah, it man. It's pretty normal the other way, but nah. I not tell someone to do what? With who? Exactly. It's like, yeah. nah, man, nah. Especially, especially if it's somebody, nigga, always known to be straight without, like, ever thinking twice. Yeah, Bellamy wanted to do what? With well, who? I think, well, <laughs> how? We had Bill Bellamy. How did you come up with Bill Bellamy? That How to be a player. The biggest player, player, player. You think uh, the biggest player, player? No, that's a nineties stereotype right here. Tell yeah, me yeah, one yeah. role that he didn't play that. No, you're right. <laughs> that's all. Oh, that's a nigga whole yeah, career. Yeah, I, I thought it was dope. I yeah, mean, Bill. he yeah. was he was appropriate for the roles in the nineties. But then when you think about it, somebody said, "Man, you could fucking make a storyline for every one of his characters as if they're the same person in every movie." And I said, "Damn, son, that's funny." You really can, son. That's funny. Son. So like yeah 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 but yeah watch, watch, watch the chain letters and I didn't even realize it was like some chain letter shit until after I started it like oh shit as I much as I hate chain letter right. shit I started oh, some yeah. chain letter shit let me tell you dog I read that bitch and thought someone wrote on your on your wall I was like man's gonna wrote this this is why somebody pranking this it's man. a copy paste this is you know it's yeah. copy paste I was like, I was like, like, like hardly ever did the copy paste thing. yeah and I, I didn't even like and like I didn't even fully even read it. And what happened? I didn't fully read it when I saw it on somebody else's wall. Cause that's the other thing about it. Once you once you share it, you like it's like okay, you gotta share it. So I just shared it because I'm like, bitch, you made me ask all these motherfucking questions, nigga. Yeah. You know what it says? I'm gonna make other people do For this. For those who don't hate me, you don't yeah. talk like that. Yeah, I should have fucking uh, re re no, reworded. I should have reworded at the beginning. I might yeah, go back no. and edit. Cause that's another thing. Cause too. I, I watched the beginning oh, and I was like, this doesn't sound like this nigga's verbiage. Nah, it's not. No, it's worded. It's not my words. That's not how I talk. They don't hate me. They don't give. Why don't give a fuck who hates him? Nah. Usually I hate that fucking copy paste shit. Like, that should be fucking annoying. I don't do that copy paste shit. I remember somebody sent me that. Like, I like the thing just to like a picture, and I know I got caught up in the game. And someone sent me this message about, up. Oh, you got tagged, now you part of the game. I said, what game did? And they broke it down to me. I went, oh, okay. And went on copy about my and fucking paste day. This. Copy and paste. I went, this. I went copy and paste my no. life. I, mean, I was out. I was like, peace out. No, I'm straight on you. So yeah, man. Welcome to the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fly with Bats podcast, yeah. episode sixty-two, side B. It's that actor guy, Martin. I thought it was 61, I'm sorry, 61. You're right, 61. 61. <laughs> Episode 61, side B. It's that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell it, Mr. Outer. You ain't gonna find me. And for side B, as usual, L, I'm here with my brothers. What up? What's good? It's your boy, D Mac. And you can fuck with me on Instagram at FrenchBread.kid. And make sure you follow my clothing line at YADIG504. Yeti. It's pretty neat. No. And, huh? I've got approach at least three times in the past day or two I with like this that. shirt on. I like that. By people at work. That's Cause exciting. Because it just happened again. Where was I? Was it the bakery? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. like, what's, 
what's your shirt? It was at the bakery. It was yeah. at Butter Milk Job. He was like, what's your shirt about, man? I was like, man, my, my dude, you know, you do your dig, man. Man, you yeah. make the shirts for, you know, different parts. Whatever part of the city, he got you, man. It's that seven wall shirt right here. Yeah. And he was like, man, it's fire. It's like, man, follow my dude. Remember right. I told you it happened to me when I was with you, when you was in the car. Yeah, that's at the other so spot. Yeah. And the chick follows you on the spot. Mm -hmm. And it shit happened again at McDonald's. And I'm like, man, yeah, that's bro. Son. I'm about to be your digs. That show is fresh. Official male fresh. model. You have to be the official male you digs model. Ma official male done. model. Follow Mr. Bats. And your digs. At Mr. Bats. Yeah, yeah you, do, you do get the official male model. You get it. You it's get okay. It. You can be one too, Joseph. No, no. I'm good being in the shadows, making the wheels turn. Yeah, you do kind of help some wheel, wheels turn. Yeah, I can appreciate that. In the shadows is what I like to be in. But introduce yourself. Oh, in the closet. Whoa, what? 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 It was just open, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Pass and wine, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the roof. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at Alpha Joe 504. That's J O without the E. And Facebook, Joseph Alpha Man Pines, side B61. We in this bitch. We in this bitch. And yeah, man, so, you know, first off, I'm going to pull out the scroll, man. Shouts out to all our local, local podcasts out there, such as the Your 30 podcast with the homies, the Arrogant Observer, and. Marty, Marty Edwards, Edwards, my co-host for the reviewing that show. He's the wait. I'm evil Marty. He's favorite Marty, and we got the adorable asshole Jay Steele on that. Duh. Mm -hmm. uh, we also shouts out to Misbelieve Radio Show. Speaking of Jay Steele, with hosted by who is DC Paul, Jay Steele, Oshun, Malik, the historical geek, and us. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Shouts out to the Will Figure This Out podcast with Lido and Jay Skills. Right. Shouts out to On the Lick podcast. You feel me? I just was talking to Rel the other day, man. You know. Yeah, I think I talked to her yesterday, too. I, I think like I've been talking to her a lot more lately. They about to be on the Your 30 podcast. Lots of like, we just okay. crossing over all over the place. You That's feel fine. me? I'm going to put, 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 put Rel out there. She picked Jodeci. Yeah, she texted me that. She texted me Jodeci. No, I thought she picked Tevin Campbell. No, she nope. said she gave Tevin Campbell the props about the song. But she picked Jodeci. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold up. Let me go to, wait, let's, let's, wait, 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 let's go wait. to the facts, bitches. No, he, yeah, she sent me, oh, by the way, between Jodeci and Tevin Campbell, it's unfair because it's a group. Yes. Joseph is going to take it, in my opinion, because of the harmony. So, uh -huh. yeah, when did she say she chose Jodeci? She said she knew you was going to choose Jodeci because it's a group and it got kind of cop. Hold on. Mm. So, man, you got yeah, the same on, message, huh, D? Yes. No, let me go to my message. All right. Let's go to the real T. Look at, I gotta figure out all these people I didn't text. Hold on. Well, he go through his T. Shouts out to Paul. Oh, I got it, got it. What's all that? Right. Uh, she put the ashes. Oh, by the way, between Jodeci and Tevin Campbell is unfair because the group Jodeci is gonna take it in my opinion because of the harmony. That's the same thing we all got. That's not like her saying. So like, she said, in my opinion. So she she said Jodeci. So, so she chose Jodeci. She said Jodeci, in my opinion, is gonna take it because of the harmony. Let us would know what you really mean, bro. Because that could also mean like yeah. people would people would take. Because the way she sent it to me and D is a different oh. way, and I could still see she ain't say I'm she ain't saying I'm choosing Jodeci necessarily. She said, in my opinion, I'm gonna take it. Jodeci is gonna take it in my opinion because of the harmony. It says it right there. We also got two messages that say something different. Sorry, dog. We so gonna just put an asterisk. <laughs> like I said, Rel, let us know if you're saying if it's Jodeci or not. She also said that the Tevin Campbell, that's to come out your clothes right now. Oh, right so you have a whole second. other text that I don't got. I have another text, too, that says, but Tevin Campbell can sing her out of anything. That doesn't mean, but she still that said. That sounds like a winner to me. That no, sounds like I would no. choose Tevin Campbell, but that no. man went against a group. If anything, if anything, I'll go back to Martin's original thing of a mixed message. Because you can't say, in my opinion, Jodeci's going to take it because of Harmony, but Tevin Campbell can sing me out of anything. Man, she said it's not. She said from dump, it's unfair because that's yes. a group who can do harmonies with each other versus this man. And that is a big thing. That is a big part gonna, of that. I, in my opinion, it's going to take it. And then Tevin Campbell can sing her out of underwear. See, see, Rail, you got five minutes because this nigga wanted to argue body right quick. So let's get back into four minutes in the mic. Shouts out to y'all. Shouts out to Fuck With You Heard podcast, mm -hmm. Metal Hand of God podcast, Black Guys Next Door podcast, Books mm -hmm. the Brains podcast. I always, I always fuck that one up. Hip Hop Nerd Podcast, No Dope on Sundays Podcast, um, Therapy New Brooklyn Ladies of Therapy New War Podcast, and that might be everybody. That, no, 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 no. I, I, want, I, was, I was gonna get to them in a second. Uh oh. I try to see if there's everybody besides Five Hundred Four Twenty. Well, shout out to my homegirls with the teapot. 
Oh yeah, and the one that he ain't listened to, but he wants shut to shout out. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! But uh, yeah, there's everybody, and you know, once again, like he said, shout out to Five Hundred Four Twenty Podcast. Who apparently Joe went on that motherfucker the other day. Yeah, one had a little chill pill and a little blunt session. Man, it was a session, all right, dog. I just want to—I I ain't got high like that since my college days. He brought out so much utensils. Sam, the Magic Man, and Ezekiel. These guys had uh, brought out so many utensils, dog. I remember I was looking at all type of shit from oil to three different buds. Uh, I'm looking at bongs. I'm looking at all type of shit. And we talked a good bit. We also going to do a part two. And we had a good time, man. We had a good time. The, the way they set up was real nice. And um, they were very welcoming and friendly and very, very loving, you know, and caring. Very weird. Because I guess weed may just make you do that when you get That's high not weird up. at all. I mean, people say all these great that. things that they yeah. called it weird. This is my first time meeting people. So it's like, I was like, I don't know. I, I I was like, oh my, they're so nice. Why, you know, but people are super nice. I don't know, I just get a little, like, scared. That's just me. But well, we appreciate y'all niceness, Father. But no, no, I really, love, I, I, I was grateful and I was thankful so for it. So are they nice enough to do, like, a crossover joint or what? I mean, yeah, I would love to do a crossover joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, technically, that was a crossover, but if you're talking about full blown, we could no, do we, that as well. Yeah. Homie came through when he dropped uh, Joe off, uh, Ezekiel, okay. and he was lit. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it all on his face. I was like, you, you look we had nice four right different now. Strands of bird. <laughs> you feel me? He was lit, dude. But I like, yeah, he had a great, he had a great energy it. about him. You know, he seemed like okay. good people. So you but know, he's a good positive up. dude. He's brand new, funny, and um, we had a good time. I like that. I can't wait for y'all to hear the podcast when it drops. We did ramble off. I mean, it's a it's a, yeah, it's, it's a podcast, man. Right. So you know that's what happens, that's man. Right. You know, what I mean, you know, you have to represent for the pothead, potty my podcast. But they knew a lot of shit. Doctor, with your head because they talk about wannabes and everything in that. Also, they've been following us. Yeah, that's what's up, son. Yeah, shit, shit, shit. You know, like, like you said, that. like he told you when he got here, he like they won the forty eight hour film fest and went to like the last final re- regions in L A. Uh, for uh, a couple of years back. That's what that boy Zeke with his crew. I was like, word, all right. Yeah, putting in that work, man. I like that. So I can say it's putting in that work, man. Yeah, they're a fan of our stuff. So for side B, man, we usually start it off by getting into that it to fit of the day. day. You know what I mean? You know, that's when we get into, you know, some of the deeper, darker topics that we, you know, we like to keep on light on side A. We like to get rid of the raw, raw on side B. And the it to fit of the day, we get into that daily dose of America. Which is your friendly reminder of just where you live and just who the fuck you dealing with. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's that hero highlight where we take the time to shine a light on someone who's doing good in the world of pure D fuckery. Fuckery! And then, you know, <laughs> we go, <laughs> then we, you know, highlight y'all to in the next couple of couplers, you feel me? That was always my favorite my favorite part of that whole movie, dude. The very, the very beginning. And that was type of fuckery! <laughs> like, dude. This is the way they can see it. I love it, son. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, without further ado, let's get into some it to fee. Alright. Oh, got his first gun. He ready to murder. He out of control. I can swole on bourbon. I don't even drink. If I see you, I ain't see you. Nah, I don't even blink. Nah, I don't even think that I'm here. But if I see you and I like you, I'ma smile. Is this really who I am? Huh? Then versus now. Life is too wild. This shit is out of hand. I'm just trying to live. But y'all don't give a damn. I'm just trying to be cool. I don't want to lose my work. Lose my mind. Lose my smile. Lose my shirt. But if you you know me, then you know I go berserk. Then you know I go berserk. Then you know I go berserk. Head first, I'm just shut so uh, yeah, as we get into that Etu fit, man, let's, man, I just start off with one of the freaking like we we kind of touch bases on this story uh when in for, in the crossover on the lake, but like so much new information and shit that come out about it is like I feel like we it, it owes us another freaking look into it, man. Uh-huh. All right, uh, yeah. both them Gene, man, like getting oh, killed man. by this woman, this white lady rolling up in his crib and shooting him, talking about she thought she was in the wrong motherfucking spot. And on the last fucking episode, we gave into that rumor of they're supposedly together. But that's not even true. Like it came out like nope. They like that picture that that was supposedly out yeah. of them together. That wasn't the same that, that's people. That's not her. That wasn't her. I, I was mm. looking like the people they got in her. I was like, these are not yeah, the same people. Yeah, that shit don't even look right. And they and they, I mean, if had, and the thing is, the and the trippiest thing about this one is how much misinformation is out there. Numbers make you feel like it's on purpose. Like it's like, dog, y'all so, do anything to say this white lady. She was uh, tired. She this like they try to give her every excuse. And on the flip, just to, just before I pass the mic, and the the, the negligence and the wrong 
wrongness of y'all bitches really gonna put out there that y'all found weed in that man's crib to fucking assassinate his character and to make his death seem like it was worth being taken. I mean, like being like, seem like it was worth being taken. All y'all fucking fuckwise for that shit in the media, across the board in the police department. What you saying? When this weed shit, like, popped up, son, like, I'm really, really, like, starting to actually believe that this motherfucker might just get off, son. She just might pull it off, dude. And, like... How? Like, right. I know, like, I said this on Misbelief, it wouldn't be surprising, but it should be, given the situation. Okay. My problem is... They, they dropped the, the, the search warrant... And then issued all the things they found in the search warrant the day of the man's funeral. Yeah. They also found other things in there that I feel like... Search was, warrant on the dead man to prove the re, his, to prove that he was a justified killer is what it feels right, like. Right, right. That's what it was. Because like, why would you search warrant this man's crib? But well, he the victim. He, he, he has no ill intent against anybody in his own home. He the victim. He's not, you know, anyway, besides that. Because I think that's free in my opinion. That's that's uh, what I'm saying why yeah, it should be right, surprising. It seems like it should be free. Fucking, um, they also find other things in this house that, that is just a little weird. Like, they say they found, like, police type shit in this house. And that I was wondering, like, okay, what is this about? Because I don't know, I feel like things are planted. The story's getting too too crazy. And there's other stories where witnesses say they heard her banging on his door. Mm -hmm. Another rumor. I'm, I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking I'm, everything it, it, out as rumors right now because of so many syndications reporting so many different right. things that make me be like, damn. This could be one of the. This the, is weird. This could be the next Even how it's be Martin, uh, what you call him? Like this could be on that magnitude because everybody get like a, like a march, and it's not everybody, but people march for a lot of things, but certain things get certain ma magnitudes, like the Trayvon Martin. And that was another story, if you think back, had all these random stories coming out before we really got down yeah, to what happened, happened yeah. with him and George Zimmerman. You know what I'm saying? The same thing you know with, uh... Wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, Sister, you got past that back? Yeah, bruh. Uh, they over there clutching the blunt, yeah? Y'all smoke us? <laughs> you smoke us? <laughs> okay, it's all right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, but, like, yeah, but back on task, definitely, definitely, like, it, it's... It... It... It seems like such a slap in the face. I think we talked about this on a previous episode of Did you would think you would thing? think that the cops would be better about their bullshit and Yo, they just don't we don't we say this every fucking time. Son, man? if I keep getting caught wrong at a point, either I'm gonna not do wrong or be better and slicker at my wrongdoing, and neither is happening. You I feel, feel like me? this is the constant conversation. So it's like every single time we do it, it's like really, like y'all so, really gonna fucking. It's so do this blatant shit? because it's been so blatant without the world being able to see this on camera. Of course. In the day of the digital age, where things getting caught more and more, it's like dog, y'all, you know. But see, that's the overarching conversation but, with any of these. But when we talk about this one in specific, and that's what I'm saying. Like it's like that that mindset hasn't caught up with the time. Of the fact that like you are you are caught in every camera every way. So the but the mindset is still I can go do this and get off. And not only is the mindset still like that from the, all the, the, the the fucking periods of slavery until now. The same thing with uh the laws that back behind it, especially for people who are in law enforcement. I mean cops know, and if they didn't know, they really know that they can definitely do anything. <laughs> you hear me? They could just son. They can roll right, up in your life. I don't know, right now. Huh? Yeah, son. And because I mean it's. We gonna, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a fucking trip, son, because you know, like, I was talking about a misbelief, dog, like, they got this list of all these things that, damn, you can't, you can't fucking breathe while black, you can't sell water while black, you can't this while black, I never thought I'd see the day you can't chill in your house, in your own home, in your own home, but you know, this ain't the first story, it is. while fucking black, dog, this ain't the first story, this is the first story that made it big of and a people, person that thought it was the wrong apartment, and people gonna justify yeah. it and try to back your plate, because when, because when they first said, oh, she was so tired, nigga, Everybody tired, nigga. We all tired. We get off work. Tell me, everybody coming mm -hmm. around you killing motherfuckers. That, that don't mean that you can mistake. Blasting. Them. You came in the home blasting. Cause even if it was your crib, son, you up in this bitch off the dump blasting. But I, I, I can't get in my brain how if you live downstairs, how all of a sudden you so tired that new you stairs, home, new stairs, stairs have right. appeared, That's and now you go upstairs to get to your crib when you ain't never gone up there stay in your life. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here, man. Trying to protect her, son. The story, the story said, what, what's his name? I want to say it correctly. Botham Jean. Botham Jean had a, a rug specifically so designed, so big and bright, to let people know it was his door. So you go to his door where there's like two flowers and a fucking red ass rug, the number that is not yours. Manslaughter, by the way, keep going. Of course, always. Of course, manslaughter, bring it down with manslaughter. They're trying to protect her, bro. They have to protect her. She's a cop. She's white, and she's a woman. A woman, 
That, that she got every, she got, she got everything going Domination. for her, son. Nigga, right. Uno out, bitch. Uno right. out. out. You hear me? Right. Boom, <laughs> nigga. Ain't no reverse. Oh, no, that shit crazy, nigga. No, no, the dead man got to draw four. That what the shit fuck? Is crazy. That shit's really crazy. What's bro. Amber Geiger? Just you know, say her her whack ratchet ass name, dog. Yeah, and like, I don't think she said anything yet, but it's just. She can't say anything, dog. Because like, dog, when it get to that stage, because the thing is, this gonna go to court. This is gonna be like an OJ trial too, dog. This is gonna go to court. We about to see how this shit unfold. Cause there's gonna be a lot of shit that play into this that we probably don't know. I don't know if this it's gonna story. be as high profile it as gonna, OJ. I don't think that's gonna really get too high profile as OJ. They but gonna I, fucking watch it though. It's gonna be in a stratosphere like that though. You know what I'm saying? Or they might just sweep it under the fucking rug. No, that's they, the other sweep, fucking thing. If they sweep thing. that shit under the rug, they dog, might just I feel talk like it Dallas up to the gonna game. tear that city apart. Them black folks gonna tear that city. They already stopped the whole highway. They gonna tear that city apart, dog. Like 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 Fanny said, dog. If we if we can't enjoy like y'all will enjoy, then ain't none of us gonna have it. I don't know, son. We gonna see. We gonna see what they do. But this shit's already gone on way too fucking long. And it's it's more and more crazy stories. You know what I'm saying? It's like these, these stories are getting like more and more sensation sensational. Yeah, sensational. Like you know what I mean? It's almost like they're doing it for the ground. It's, this is lawyer work. This is media work, dog. They trying to protect us, son. Of course, it's gonna look fucking crazy because it's because it's two black, black and black and uh white. You walk into the mass spot and murder them. Bright red freaking welcome mat, and apparently she parked on the wrong floor, so <laughs> it wasn't stairs. So I have to, I have to oh take that God. back. She parked on the wrong floor. So why she not getting? So one some kind of way because stuff. she had her no, she hasn't been drug tested, right? So for whatever reason, because she, she had hasn't. A, no. He's not been drug tested. But they're drug testing this man and shit. So for whatever reason, man, it's like, but I'm saying, even still if it's not steps, motherfucker, you went up an extra loop de loop. You hear me? Yeah. And then you parked in a spot. And that's another thing too. At spots like that, they have it marked what what the fucking number is. You know if you're on, if you if you know your number is 202, you know the difference between a two and a three or a three and a four and you park in there. But once again, a 15 hour shift. I don't think you should be a cop there, woman. If you can't handle hours to the point that you, you just murdering black men. It's too late for that, dog. Son, you, you tell me you can't nigga. find your whole door? Are you serious? So when and, and it, this also got to, I, I just, I just really don't believe this black man was just sitting in the dark chilling, like all his lights were off or something like that. I don't believe it was that. Like unless he was sleeping and woke up and somebody tried to come in. No matter what, if you the nigga in that position, you feeling some kind of way because no, even if she screamed, because even if you waking up and somebody's yelling at you in your house, you're more afraid than them. She acting like she the victim. I'm scared as fuck. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. You just bust in my house and you're yelling and I see a gun and you telling me hard and say something. And then if I don't say nothing, then you shoot me. Look, nigga, just a, just a freaking thirty minutes ago, my mom walked in my house when the door was unlocked. And I almost jacked on my mom. My mom looked at me I and just laughed. Walked in the house, and nigga. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, fuck. You know what I mean? That's and that's that's somebody when I know they're on the way, they just didn't tell me directly. But still, somebody coming in your house, no matter what, you're gonna have the first the first thing in your mind is fight or flight, mm -hmm. straight up and down. So it's, it's instant mm -hmm. adrenaline, instant with the fuckery. So she has no high ground to stand on, man. You enter into this man's domain. He had every reason to be vulnerable and in his most know, his most vulnerable state. Like not only that, dog, but you like you you draw your weapon and you fire. You, know, you don't know. You have no real, like, evidence that, that, that you're in real danger yet. Just that someone's in a, in a spot. You hear me? You're a piss ant if you defend this lady, dog. It sucks You're so a full-blown piss ant if like, you defend really this lady. That she really might get off, dog, because manslaughter like ain't enough, dog. Like, I wouldn't be satisfied with that. And, I mean, oh, I mean, and, you mean, and you mean they're going to try and flip. She was in distress. Oh, uh, like it was that. like some yeah. temporary yeah. hysteria. Yeah. Yes. That nah. Uh, Oh, look nah, at, black oh, look people, at how black fucking far they going, son. Ain't got time to, like, cure your fears for these two people. I mean, things. we know that, but no, I'm just taking and off of what Devin's saying of what's the leg that they can possibly stand on. And it's probably some shit like that of she was that she was, so she was in a broke. state of fear, et cetera, et cetera. And, like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We That's talk, what fucking boils down to. We that. talked about bottling them white woman tears. And, you know what I mean? Making them bitches tear bombs. Boom, boom, no, bang. They are fucking nuclear, son. And speaking of white-on-white white crime, man, this came out. Machine Gun Kelly crew apparently beat some actor up. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. Why? Tough guy. Your crew did it, number one, and some actor. Why? Machine Gun Kelly's bodyguards beat the bloody hell out of an actor who called out the rapper over the blood, blood feud. Come on, TMZ. Over the blood feud <laughs> with Eminem. The violence started late Friday night in Atlanta. 
Cops say MGK and his crew were in a restaurant bar when the actor named Gabriel G. Rod Rodriguez. Who, Who is, is that? I think I feel like I know him. Who is that? Let's look this person up. Is that him down at the bottom? Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, uh, he plays thugs. I've seen him in something before. I've seen him get killed. He that's the nigga that Tommy drug on power. Remember on power when uh, Tommy hit him with the car? I'm not and, gonna lie, he real swole up in the eyes, so he don't look familiar at all. Tommy chased him down on pop, not drug. He 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 chased him. I remember this scene because it was a beautiful scene because this freaking sunny ass music playing and Tommy in his car. He just following this nigga. He just running because Tommy was mad because uh he talked he put he he pumped Crystal Ball and he he snuck one of Crystal Ball men when Crystal Ball was supposed to be running drugs for Tommy and Tommy had to be like I had to find out after the fact that Crystal Ball ain't checked this nigga. So Tommy went to go check this nigga yeah, and he hit that nigga that. with the fucking car. It was like you're here to represent for the crew. Like, for the man, crew. He, yeah, these niggas can't come out. He's up like, he snuck out, nigga, and you ain't do nothing, Crystal Ball. So I'm going to do something because right. I'm the head, nigga. And he ran this nigga down with a car. Like, I'm about to look this up on YouTube. We're we, we going to do some <laughs> investigating and see who Machine Gun Kelly fucked up right quick okay. to make sure my hypothesis is correct. What would I call it? Tommy runs down. <laughs> Tommy runs over with car power stars. This guy. <laughs> wow, and it's just up here. This guy. Wow. I called it. So much. And that's Courtney Kim talking about gestures. it. Just what he does with his head when he says one, two, ten. His performance <laughs> is so crazy good. And you chase this nigga <laughs> down. <laughs> and he hit this nigga with the car. Exactly what I'm about him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he looks just the fucking same. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, okay. So now we know who Gabriel G. Rod Rodriguez is. G. Rod. So you obviously must have. Okay, I don't want. So you did something said. before you were an actor. Right, Walked G. up to him with his phone out and started recording. In the video obtained by TMZ, you see G. Rod point at MGK and say, I'm going to say it because it's to be said. You're a pussy for going for family. G. Rod tells us he was especially upset because he's a husband and father of three kids. G. Rod was pissed at Kelly for his beef with Eminem, which started with Kelly saying M's thin teenage daughter Haley was hot. He's very invested in this beef for some reason. What? MGK's invested in this nigga who's not that big of a even a star. I was saying, man, shit. MGK going around beating up people coming my hood with that shit, MGK, and your, your, your goons. I ain't no fucking actor that gonna take that shit, bitch. Even in his rap against Eminem, he was saying he be by himself. And you know what I mean? M, come fuck with me. I'll fight you by myself. And then the next you story that come out is your crew stomp the nigga out. Yeah. Let's see what this this video here now. Cool to be, dog. <laughs> so it starts with him. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, oh. no. No, so you got to get beat up for that, son. Yeah. Wait a second. No, oh, so you got to get beat up, son. You deserve it. I don't have one nigga jumping too. And I'm saying because it has to be said. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. What? You're a pussy. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Wait. This nigga hiding something? Wait. Wait. Yeah, Wait. This nigga on one, son. I promise you. Wait. This nigga rolling his ass Wait. off. He's like, I'm going I'm to have to make a stand right now. Put this nigga on my phone. <laughs> my nigga MGK Yo, was just sitting down. Money. Business. Business. Looking at the menu, bro. Like, I'm eating you. I'm with my people. You heard me? I didn't know it was all that. And then you're going to sit down. He said, no, you need your ass. <laughs> call me a pussy. I'm looking at out of the some shit. Now, like, this man's sitting. They caught him at the mall somewhere. The yeah, streets. but he yeah, had the streets. These, these fucking <laughs> articles are very, like, dog. Like, that's why we got to see video footage, dog. Because, like. And then he stared at the camera for, like, ever. Like, well, let me make sure. About to do it. Getting in a state of mind. <laughs> Meditating oh, man. And shit. Oh, man. Okay. Get the fuck out of here, G-Rod. In the video, MGK appears to shove G-Rod and turn the phone away. The video stops there. But G-Rod says that when five of MGK's guards, guards swoop. Guards. Swooped yeah, in. Even his, his not even his niggas. His guards. guards as he puts huh? MGK suddenly got tough and started challenging him. You want to give us another pop-up? Let me add what you're saying, G-Rod. Okay. PS4. 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 Okay, so you know what? I'm not that invested anymore. I don't care what you're saying no more, G-Rod. I only really brought this up because we was just talking about MGK and Eminem on side A, so it's like a connector. But 
Nigga, I don't, I don't care, though. You, you, you deserve that ass. Like, yeah, like, you, yeah. you said it's bad personal space. I thought you said something online. That. He caught you because of what you said online. Not going to that man dinner table with his friends. Dinner table. table. Not even like new street. Not even right. like. It wasn't even a situation. This man don't even know who you are. You just walk up to this man and start disrespecting you. you matter of fact, he probably was like, damn, I beat up that guy from power. I didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like real. So I brought that art to the truth, nigga. Damn. My bad, MGK. I take it back. Oh, no, no, no. We know. There's still some merit. You did talk that shit like you be by yourself with no security. So, I'm going to say that much. Hey, you know that but shit. that's it. Small, you better have that security. <laughs> Real. So, yeah. Cat Williams went nuts recently after the damn Emmy shit. You saw... I haven't seen this. I, I haven't seen it. I've only I heard... It I saw, nice. saw the articles and shit that he was basically like... Hating on a girl, you know well, what I'm saying? I just saw the articles basically where it's like he ain't cutting no corners. When I'm saying going nuts, I mean you would think like you know people win awards when you see him in the he interviews. Was saying, say some positive it's all positivity, dog. Like, it's like a hype coming down off like, yep, yeah, everything's good. Yeah, yeah that's low I mean, I know. I ain't never heard nobody win an award, and the next right thing you hear after, right after it. I don't it. think Tiffany Haddish, who got an award, she uh, is a real comedian. Bro, really? really? no, I don't. That's yeah, but weird. But the thing is, he do got some kind of merit in the comedian world, dog. Of like. She ain't never had no tour. Was she he? never did no one hour stand. Let's press special. play on him. Let's see what he talking about. Let's see what he talking about. Fact but check. I can't wait to go see Since you were 16, you can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm -hmm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, I'm i the introduction to Tiffany. Okay, this ain't in the beginning, whoops. And <laughs> we started bitch in the middle, he's just My talking that, that prime shit. I was like, but yeah, um, no. it's so it's funny that we, what's so funny is we just had this conversation about comedic actress versus comedian. And but no, she's comedian. No, 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 no. Let me finish, son. We just had this conversation of comedic actors versus comedic com comedians, and how like not everybody can do both, and how like just and how oftentimes that's when you see who the legends are. And it's funny that this card is being pulled in the conversation when we talk about like what DC was saying, how he like was like she she came in like other uh, Tuesday joint, like he opened for this chick or some shit like before. It's like we we know if you keep pay attention to her career that she done done the stand up circuit. You know what I mean? It's not like she hasn't, but like you said. No specials. No specials no but, he, but, back back. but he talking like she ain't done the circuit though. No, That's what kind of stuff. She done the circuit. She saying like, man, you, you, you can't be in the room we in. You got the circuit, but then you do got the special. I I'm not hate I'm not hating that way. I can't you think know. of no more these specials. But anyway, I'm not hating on what oh. he talking about paying your dues and whatnot. And mm -hmm. I ain't saying that you need to be called Tiffany Haddish a legend right now at all. Mm -hmm. Really her career just popping. She's just getting on yeah, the main absolutely. stage. We shouldn't even be judging her in that light for a few more years. Oh, wow. Like some more years. You know what I mean? Uh, to me, without even hearing the rest, it's not even fully fair to judge it because it didn't happen in the same order. Let's see what she does in the next few years to see what happens. Cause it kind of comes off as he he just mad that that she got something so early. I don't know. Or that he might just be really tied with Monique. <laughs> I, also, I mean, you know, I don't think he has a problem with like, I don't, like it's not like he's saying she's not funny. That's been a blame, man. It's not that he's saying she's not funny. It's just really saying like, man, this this is a whole other realm. You know what I'm saying? But well, why? Right. Like, what's, what's like why? What's the point of it? Did somebody ask him about Tiffany Haddish? He just okay. busts out of nowhere. That's press play because otherwise, like, what? Like, yeah, it's like, because it's you like, can. So how do you like your eggs? So Tiffany Haddish. Right. Oh, but, yeah. even, but, but even still, son, it's like you can choose not to say anything negative about somebody. Still, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, can, you can make the. Unless, unless it's a, a very cornering question that makes you have to be like, well, I gotta keep it real. But, you know what I mean? If he just decided to throw her under the bus, because he could have still had the same conversation without saying her name, mm -hmm. without throwing no blows. He'd be like, man, they got some comedians out here who I feel like need to whoop de woo. Boop man, yeah, Williams is also known to fight with children. That man might. <laughs> <laughs> well, a scorpion's a fucking scorpion. Blessing, there's definitely been a blessing. Now you talked about you got a special coming up. I'm working on a special right now. No, I don't know this nigga. I don't know. Oh, you don't know him? You put it. This nigga. It's not who I'm here for. <laughs> right now. <laughs> not who I'm here for. Does nobody make some shit you saying that? Um, that it. only speaks to quantity. I, I do have more comedy specials than any comedian breathing or dead, so I understand the question. Uh, that's only seven more than Richard Pryor. 
You have seven more than Richard Pryor? Six more than Martin Lawrence and six more than Chris Rock. Are you serious? Five more than Dave Chappelle, even though he put out four. And, uh, next Are you serious, Cat? You put out that many? Name them. I might Pimp, say, like, Pimp, did he uh, did that? Pimp Chronicles 1, 2, and 3. Uh, then he had another Pimp Chronicles after that. And then he had some other shit, like, G's up. That was a tour. Like Can we just like Google? Them? No, no, I don't want to Google them because I'm saying that for a reason. It's like my nigga, if you have 25 of these specials and we don't know now none of them, but you just had to put in the pap and put them out. It's like it's kind of like a, a no. certain framing that you throw in there, son. Yeah. Because he came just now with Tiffany said naming her jokes. Well, nigga, I can't name all these motherfucking specials that you claim that you got. Now you say that you don't have them because you're the type of nigga that would say that you got, but they don't exist. And what I'm saying I is, would wait? Would, you said. Four, he said he has the most, which means he said he got like American, double digit. Uh, and I'm saying, yeah, but American like I don't, I don't know every one of Marlon's specials, and I know you know I can name at least three or four. If you, if most people that Marlon's fans be knowing majority of his main ones, dog. Only thing I know is the ones that we know from when we was I, young. And that's just something I can't wait because I'm not a big Marlon's fan, but I do know his specials, and they were funny and made some good. You shit. didn't name his specials. You named the Pimp Chronicles one, two, and three, which is the same title, <laughs> so it's hard to not remember <laughs> that. <laughs> like, that's not the that's same. That's not like the same as having the name. Raw, dangerous, yeah. this, okay, so that, you know. He, no, no, he, he didn't say that. Like he had the best specials. He just said he had the most specials. I didn't. That, I didn't decry. That was not my point. And you said, I, I did getting, not decry I specials. I you did not. Post, you. Two, that's not my point. My exact point is the fact of you talking about being specific and what's legendary and what's this and that. And we talk about naming shit. Pimp Chronicles one, two, and three. That's Pimp Chronicles. Like that. That's, that was a legendary three piece that's having to name one thing though to remember. You get what I'm saying? If the it, only fucking thing I want to know is like how what, many did oh. he actually do? Like, is what he's saying true? I mean, or I, don't, false? I don't know. I, he most, I don't think he'll say if it was false. I'm just laughing at the fact of you know, I mean, quality, quantity versus quality. That's what I'm saying. We don't even know I if think. all yeah, of them. But he also addressed it and said if we're talking in terms of quantity, he says that. I think he did say that. He said that, but I don't even know what context he said that in. Cause he, that, cause that, that's still not, that's still not well, taking. Are we gonna check the tape? But my point was, uh, my my point still is, my nigga. Even if you're saying you got the most and you want to name drop these big names as if you're above them, because there's a, there's a reason why you're saying Dave Chappelle's name, Martin's name, this is a name you want to put yourself in those same in those same that same gravitas. I'm saying, my son, you could have all those specials, but which, how many were fired? Because if you only had three good ones out of your twenty, and Eddie had five good ones, or what have you. You naming, you having this title is like saying, I got more Q-tips than anybody in the fucking world. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all I'm saying about it. Not decrying that he has this I number. Just saying, I just think he's saying he's been, like, out of all his greats who have these great specials, not saying this is great or worse. Uh, is that more like he's been, like, consistently doing a lot more, still putting in work throughout the years. Like, like he You're giving him more work. humility than he's giving in this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, no, he 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 tried to he the words he's using, he's name dropping for a reason. So he tried to be like, I'm that nigga. I ain't hating on you for being I'm that nigga, but I'm not gonna pretend like I ain't seen this shit. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like it's just like I'm that nigga. I don't feel like it's just like I'm that nigga. I I I, I, I see it something more like people don't people don't you know. What's the point? What's the point to drop this information you know if it's what? not to big Fuck up what yourself? What talking about because I need to check this nigga's rap sheet right now. Check it. I don't even care about that. <laughs> I, I was say, yeah, that you can check don't that. Dismiss me because I'm not I'm trying to see if what he's saying is true. I'm saying what I'm saying has need no bearings on if it's true or not. Is all I'm saying. It's fine I to put a fact that check. Too. Yeah, that's you all I'm saying. saying. I just be liking to fact check exactly what niggas be saying because if you're telling the truth, then okay. But like you say, it doesn't have better. Yeah, I think on, like, I think he's telling the truth. Better why, or not, you but, know. But, but why you? Because um, these people putting in a lot of goddamn work. Uh, and I guess when you when you think about comedy, you want to compare something. Who can you compare to? So he he decided to name drop these people and say he has more specials than them when that wasn't the question. So I'm saying he did well, that wait, to big up wait, himself. Wait, he didn't hear the question. I didn't hear the question. Sir, Me neither. That's Does nobody problem. makes him like you? Well, I I appreciate you saying that. Um, I'll go back further. During these situations, you know, as I know, things is different now as it yeah. is then. 
So, you know, I'm talking about some uh, my, my crazy little kid who, who she's nine, she thinks she's smarter than me. You know, things like that, you know. Okay. My, you know, all that. Oh. Yeah. Right <laughs> to make a great um your boys right here with you just gonna do it can i talk to you and tell me what does it take to make a great special sir does nobody make them like you well i i appreciate you saying that um that only huh. speaks to quantity i i do have more comedy specials than any comedian breathing or dead so i understand the question this ain't a high as fuck that's only seven more than Richard Pryor. You have seven more than Richard Pryor? You don't have to say all this, dog. No. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> no, so no. watching this shit again for a second time, okay? But I still feel him talk your shit, boy. That's all he I'm just, saying. He's, he's, really, like he's just talking his shit. He's high as the fuck. Oh, Nigga just asked right him. Nigga just asked him a supremely dick-sucking question. Like, what does it take to, to make, make a, a good, good special? A good special. And it's like, oh, well, I do make good specials. I make great specials. I make legendary specials. I make the most specials. This OG Kush is amazing right now. Only seven more than Richard Pryor. You know what I'm saying? Come on, guys. <laughs> Woo! I couldn't swallow my water. Cat You're Williams. killing me. <laughs> he dies. He dies. <laughs> Alive Cat or Williams. breathe. Are breathing or dead? We ain't go on anymore about that, dog. No, we did. And my, my point was proven that he still said what you said, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that nigga is all one. <laughs> he is all one. He's all one. <laughs> <laughs> Is amazing. <laughs> and I can't believe I didn't pick up on this shit the first time. Like this nigga feeling so I good right seven, now. Seven more than Richard Only Pryor. Seven more than Nine Richard Pryor. more than Dave Chappelle. He tried. He put out four on Netflix at once. Like, he said all this just now. I'm like, why wait, man, why you? Your fucking you like read this? it, oh, bro. He yeah, said y'all so good. Y'all go know about me if y'all yeah. did. Look at it. Like, are you si- oh, that that is a fucking meme. That is a meme. Oh my god, son. Uh-uh. That is at two forty six. Somebody t- meme it. Please buy this. Stop it at two forty six on this twenty twenty minute uh, interview he's doing with Frank and Wanda in the meme morning. It immediately. Oh my god, his face is priceless and perfect. But I won't get to the, yeah. the filmed the comedy stand up special without ever getting financed or having a deal with anybody. You did it by yourself. <laughs> yes, I own it one hundred percent. I have the top two comedy specials on Showtime, HBO, Comedy Central, and we just moved to Netflix. Mm-hmm. I'm a boss yeah. nigga, and I did. That's why I, they don't. I, I, I did, That's why I they don't promote. That. Nobody does. They don't promote it or sell the items after they come out because I own them, lock, stock, and barrel, and I don't have any. Uh, Caucasian partners or right. people that invest. I'm 50. I've never had a bank loan or a car lease in my life. Are you serious? That's correct. So, so <laughs> you always hear like he these comedians coming say, "Oh, they got the big Netflix deal." Has has I, like I'm Netflix on, or anybody I'm ever hit my, Cat Williams and said, "I'm on my 15th consecutive 100 city tour." On the exact day that Monique was asking for a Netflix boycott. Netflix had just cut me a check for $2 million for the special that I got paid $300,000 to do in Jacksonville. <laughs> Damn! Oh, I want to get to the meat, dog. He just going to stun on niggas. What's your thoughts right on now. Netflix? I mean, they're giving deals. Like we just heard Tiffany Haddish has okay, got a deal go. as well. And I mean, they're opening up things to comics and, you know, for them to open up a deal like that. What are, you, what are your honest thoughts about Netflix? Uh, I... Well, everybody has to understand that Netflix doesn't have an opinion on stand-up comedy. They base what they pay you by the amount mm. of ticket sales for your last tour. I so like Monique's that. last tour had 316,000 tickets. Mm-hmm. Therefore, that's what she got offered. My last tour had $2.4 million, um, million uh, tickets. tickets. And so that's what the offer was. Wow. So, yeah, if wow. people understand that it's not um, personal. Personal. Right. Then they could just, I didn't know that. for free, take their ass to work and get their numbers up. Star, I'm going to put an asterisk by this. Depending on the artist, though. Because a nigga like Dave Chappelle, he calling some of his own shots. Cause mm-hmm. just, just because of the, uh, what's the word they called it? Uh, 
it's not luxury, but it's like it's that specific situation. It was Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is a funny, it's a very special you know what I mean. Situation. And so like if Eddie Murphy came through, they wouldn't be like, no, they'd be like, you fucking Eddie Murphy. So if you're a certain stratosphere, you're gonna be able to call certain shots. But they saying basically your average nigga with some star power has been you know been consistently going. You yeah. just get, but we, get paid on what you fucking pull in. And I'ma still say this: we don't know this is for true, but he seemed pretty serious. Yeah. Because we ain't got no papers in front of us to read up on it, but no, you know. he seems like no. This is it. This, like you said, it's no hard feelings. It I seems mean, very I'm plain Jane. They, she, she mm-hmm. sells three but Netflix, Netflix, Netflix don't call nobody. That's the joke. The joke is Netflix ain't giving me. First of all, Netflix ain't call you. Knock it off. It's Coca Cola knocking on people's door to see what type of <laughs> beverage they having today. <laughs> so they go by those ticket sales. That's that's dope. What else could they go by? Yeah. Well, and com- I thought it was like popularity. What comedian and- don't think everybody can't wait for their next special? Mm. Mm. <laughs> who, who don't think they okay and also j- just grain of salt I just want grain of salt some of that I just want grain of salt some of this is all I'm saying let's cut to some po- what you about to say this is what dude I'm saying though like it, it, it sounds true it sound it sound really it sound too simple to me it's it just I feel like there's more to it than what he's saying but what he's saying you know I he, can imagine the there business me. being like that, though, like really mechanical. But what happens if you did three venues that did completely different uh, ticket sales? They would like put those average, they average it out together or something like that. They yeah, average it out and see like, all right, what you really average out on basis on what before I get your view is whatever this is. I think they tabulate like all that shit. Like I'm sure the I mean, math is like no, a little bit more. I'm not saying they but, don't count ticket sales, but it's just as a piece of me that feels like okay, there's you're saying that. The amount of dollars that you're gonna get is depend upon the amount of tickets that you sold on your last on your tour. Last yeah, tour. That's that's how they can make you. How I mean, else, how else would they make there's you? there's other things that go into how you made those dollars. It's like it's just, I just know there's more layers to that, and that just that's the only thing that makes me have a question. How else like, you got your tickets is how you got your tickets and how you made that happen. But how else are they gonna bank uh get get bank off? They're gonna make money back off your shit without ticket sales. I mean, no, they have to check that. I'm just saying that there may be more to this. All I'm not saying that that's not I mean, a, that's, a, a, that's a always other factors. But like, dog, like, like I think I think sometimes like that that might be the cookie cutter of it all. It's like no matter what other factors it is, without those ticket sales, you're fucked from the door. Maybe that's that's what I feel like. And I'm just saying it's that and something, not just that. That's all. <laughs> I'm yeah. not debating whether that is. No, I'm saying yes, that and something else is what I'm feeling in the back of my head. I'm not even saying it's absolutely true, but that's my feeling. That's yeah, all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I just have that feeling. When he says yeah, that, spidey sense point goes point off like, okay, I, say it's I don't think it's that absolute, that it's simple. Very high up in the fucking uh, rankings, though. You can have a conversation if you have a certain amount of t- ticket sales, definitely, off the dump, yeah. but you know. Because sometimes that money value, because you can't tell me that reputation don't play some kind of part. You can't yeah. tell me that, like, they got I other feel things. Like you gotta have they the, got certain things, but they reputation sales, to even get me. the fucking ticket. No, 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 no. I, what I'm saying, life. reputation is how, how much of a dick you may be to certain vendors or, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, shit Different. like that also. And I'm, not, yeah. and I'm not trying to allude to Monique. I'm saying in general. Because <laughs> I know we talk <laughs> prime shit. Say, we talk, we talk prime shit about uh, Monique, but I won't even talk about Monique. I just, because I know nah, just, I, I know, and I just know in the industry, son, if you if you're a certain level, people will put up with your shit because you've gotten to a certain level. Like I heard Bruce Willis can be an asshole if he don't care about your project, you know. For instance, but, but it's not like Bruce can bring right. It's not like Bru- tickets. He's gonna bring in that money, so it's not like Bruce Willis hurting for shit. But they got other people who you know what I mean. If a motherfucker feel like they don't want to work on, he's like us. Where we at even in our career? Mm-hmm. It's like son, if we go on some set acting an ass, we might not get booked again, even if we're the most talented niggas in the world Absolutely. or we popular. We got ten million motherfucking face, not ten million, but ten thousand motherfucking. Well, 50,000 motherfucking Facebook friends and 50,000 yeah. Instagram followers mm-hmm. but if we if, they, if it's known that we ain't even like Bruce Willis yet but we yeah. assholes I mean hell it's gonna be hard to sell even, us like, to, for Agreed. black people it was even 10 times harder cause look how they did Wesley Snipes I mean that's what we're talking about right now is yeah. black people he yeah. fuck up so, you fuck up in the riches of stratosphere, and then I'm even throwing the race. Like you, you can still get out the race. I'm not even gonna th- throw in the race side of it is what Cat Williams saying true for just black comics or all comics because we know certain white comics gonna have a different caveat too. Yeah, well, I, well, yeah. I mean, white white people in mm-hmm. general, like it's it's always a fucking different universe. And you people, know what I'm but I think this could probably hold hold set it for blacks, Asians, Hispanics. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even some white people that well, don't have the cachet. And you know then we'll be talking about overseas people, like you know what I mean? That's a different probably market. Probably less because nah, I've been to all the overseas shit. 
Yeah. No, I'm talking about overseas artists that because like certain spots have their own Netflix and shit, which is true too. But um, yeah, I don't know too much about that. Yeah, nigga, let's get, get, get to this meat yeah, cat. Say, what you oh, talking you about? You don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rail, Gerard Carmichael, all uh, ready, a, ready to down Monique and up somebody who has yeah, so done a special. She has not proven they gonna sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since the movie stars woman would talk to in Lennox Mall, something. let alone you making a movie stars. They think you have to be somebody that should be a star, Lil Rel, but you ugly. <laughs> and white people don't believe in ugly stars. They think you have to be somebody that women want to sleep with and men want to be. But because we black, they say, oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rel, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lennox Mall, something. let alone you making them movie stars. Why? Because you know ain't nobody going to sleep with them. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they are already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm -hmm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, mm. I'm the introduction to Tiffany Haddish in the movie School Dance. The clip for School Dance has been seen more times than the movie has. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. But but the movie wow. girl the the girls trip movie. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the one with that four went... with with three. Of our greatest black actresses in it. Right, I mean that one. Right, right. But I'm well, just why are you trying to diminish Tiffany? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's like I don't think it's more to diminish, but like it is a fact. Like, no, you can't be like, oh yeah, Tiffany went like it, 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 Tiffany didn't bring the, the, the people to watch that movie. Just because you're Tiffany. speaking a fact does not mean that you're not also diminishing a person. You're speaking a fact because with this woman is so, saying, if a fact diminishes you, no, son, no, don't jump right quick, son. Yeah, I'm saying, so I'm saying specifically, this woman is bringing up Tiffany Haddish to give her some light. Just because she's giving Tiffany light, don't mean that she's down and queen in them. So he's taking it upon himself to bring up these other women as well, and his reasoning from his stance because he just was saying that basically a negative light on Tiffany, she ain't earned it. She's putting the light on, oh, these other two women helped her. When, dude, that's not what. This woman is trying to say, she's trying to say, but she is funny, though. She is talented, though. But he trying to, off the dumb... I'm reading that differently. It's right there on your face, Joe, but okay. Nah, I'm reading it differently. He had it. Ma'am, you could have had that role, yeah. and everything that happened would have happened unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue. See, he just told this lady she could have done what Tiffany did. The, Are you trying to tell me that he movie? ain't being a little extra, son? The one with that four, went... with, with three... extra. Of our greatest black actresses. Dude, you, you saying out. all that and you not trying to diminish her? You talking about for sales or how to make the movie pop, though? You can't say like for people like this. Like, go, if we go back a little bit further, we talking about like, you know, that how... Nobody's so saying big. that she, it was only because of her. That was never said. He just tried to say she ain't shit because she ain't had no comedy... Well, she ain't had no comedy special in forever. She ain't had no comedy special. She been doing this forever, et cetera, et cetera. And you saying, don't put her above her. Don't put her in Legends Talk. And this lady saying, oh, but Girl's Trip was good because he, oh, he brought up Girl's Trip. He said, you gonna bring up Girl's Trip and she ain't even write it and she ain't do that. Like, all of these, all of these statements are not to build anyone up. These are to take someone down statements. They are not. But if they're facts. But they're still too. I can say facts to take you down, and it still would be like, why you like that's kind of why are you saying this, why are you attacking? Because they're facts. But facts are also is she talented and she funny and she and she she was one of the reasons that the movie was, did do well as well. He ain't saying those facts. He ain't saying no positive facts. Why are we not seeing positive facts as well then? If he don't have an agenda. I mean, dog. You know. He's supposed to say everything positive when he says he says something negative that he feels is a fact that he feels like it's true and needs to be I'm, said. I'm saying why I keep asking about. why is he tearing her down? And, and you try to tell and, me he's not, and, and I'm saying mind, I don't think he's tearing her down. Like you know what I'm saying? And his mind he's calling it what it is out there for comedians. If we try to look at his way of tearing someone down, that nigga just calling out like what it is or what, what it should be in the form of like who paid their dues and who hasn't. He's telling her down at the same time as doing that, son. It's not a mutually exclusive thing, though, because the verbiage he's using and what he's using to like, because it, it's not because because PC this man. I'm not saying to PC the man. I'm saying you you tan, you do also diminishing her like you. You want PC the man? You I'm, want, not, you want, I'm not. I'm not PCing. I'm not saying you. 
what I didn't good. say you should or shouldn't do anything. I'm saying what he's doing is diminishing her. I didn't say don't diminish her or anything. And I'm saying when you're telling me that he's not diminishing her, I'm saying how is he not when all he's saying is negative comments? So what? how am I PCing him? You're PCing him because earlier you said, dog, about like, number one, you're saying like he's diminishing her and you brought up all the things he's saying in something negative. To show how he's diminishing her. So how is he not diminishing her? How am I, no, how am I trying to PC him? He, neither of them have been answered. Because, like you're saying, he, he, why is he not talking about the positive facts? Why is he not saying those things? Be and that's how you try to piece I'm him. I'm saying like, that like, in response, context, I'm saying that in response to you saying that he's not saying anything to diminish her, and I'm saying these are diminishing tactics, which are these negative things, and if it was not just to diminish her, then he would say something positive as well. That's the reason why I'm saying that. That's what you're saying right That now. is not my cleanup. Because that's exactly what I'm saying. Why is not saying all the positive facts? They're because it was in response good. to what you said, was it not? Did you not say he didn't diminish her? And I say, why is he not saying something positive to, to balance it out if he's not diminishing I her? I said, in, in his mind, he don't think he's diminishing her because he's calling out facts of a comedian, dog. And he's calling the comedian out on what it is and what the grounds it stands for. And they don't feel like they, they respect the dojo. And I'm saying he's, you, he's saying that and he's diminishing her while he's doing it. And you're saying that he's not. And I'm saying that he is. And you say, I'm trying to PC him. And I'm saying, where? I said, yeah. Where? Because you, 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 you like, like the thing it, it'd be PC it's, it's, if I say this nigga should do this or this nigga should do that. That never happened. You brought up what you should speak about. What you should I didn't say it. No, no. Once again, you since you're missing it. is a response, but we're going to have to check tape on that. You, every, you're, every time you say that, you've been wrong in the history of this podcast, Joe. Every uh, single time, you're going to be wrong mind, again. No, I No, no, no. I edit this podcast. I can show you every single time. And every there time go. I... There you go. Every I time. You, I can show you. I, I, oh, okay. I, I, I will show you again this. Because it was funny. So it was funny on some sides. She said... I always think, should I be petty? Every time I catch it, when you say check the tape, and I check the tape, one of the times I've showed Devin. And I'll be like, should I check the tape? I'm like, you know what? It'd be petty to bring this up because we already had this argument. Let me drop it. Delete. Delete every time. Bruh, but this time it's going to be again. I'm going to just be petty then since be apparently petty. we have these be conversations, petty. dog. Show us the real you. I, no, that's not the real me because if it was, then I would have been petty. That's my no, point. No, you want to be petty. No, you I do it. not want to be petty. No, you I'm, petty now. I'm bringing it up because you always say check the tape and you be wrong, and that's a fact. Oh, if you want to talk about fact. facts, you, you want to talk about facts. I'm not diminishing, you're diminishing you. All me. facts ain't you're diminishing. diminishing. Now, diminishing now, me. now all facts are diminishing. And if I am diminishing, oh you're well, diminishing son. Me, dog. You're diminishing me. You're fine. You're not building me up a positive. That's fine. You're diminishing so you want PC me then? <laughs> you're PCing me now, Joe, because you made because you <laughs> since you cited the thing. You're not PC. You're not PCing me just like I wasn't PCing Cat Williams by saying he's diminishing her, and you felt like she's not without saying nothing. But no, man, you're wrong. How? Oh, crickets. Check the tape. It's funny when people say crickets while they're still talking. It's like, it's like. No, it was crickets from give me an answer. I didn't get an answer. That was the crickets. crickets. Just like earlier when you just, there was actual crickets. All right. No, you feel me? I think I proved my point. Yeah, was, no, no, you didn't. You didn't prove nothing. You just said, uh, no, 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 you didn't. Our, our, our you proved no point. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How? The same way you just did it to me. No, because okay. I was wrong and I just said I was wrong. I was not all just... Right, son, you just tried to say all facts are diminishing. Mm -hmm. That's what you just tried to say. If you took what I said to be diminishing, that's fine, son. And I did not say anything was wrong with it. I'm saying... I took what you said to be diminishing. May, that, that did it you? was diminishing that if I took it in that way... Just like if okay, the way that Cat did, let's say it was diminishing like some, but that's not the conversation. You trying to say that he wasn't being diminishing. That's what you said, right? I said in his mind... Cat you Williams. said also you felt that way. I didn't say also I felt that way. You said in my mind, I don't think he's doing this. I think in his mind, da, 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 da. Also, my point still goes, you tried to say I'm trying to PC him by stating why the definition of diminishing. That, that's what it comes out to. I say uh, the definition of why what the mission is to answer your other point about how it is diminishing. And then you tried to, oh my God, it's a cycle fucking cir circle cycle. Oh my God. Circle of cycles, son. And neither of the questions have been answered. Not one. I think we had a standstill. Ain't no standstill. Y'all hear me, people. Y'all hear me. Ain't no standstill, hear, son. Yep, y'all do. Ain't no standstill, son. Oh, well. That was invigorating. Bruh. That be tripping me out. That be tripping me out, son. Are we still at the beginning of this? <laughs> yeah, it's right. That be tripping me out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Joe making... They can't see your, your hand signals, <laughs> but yeah. We, we differ in a, 
opinion. That's not that's, no, that's not what just happened. That is not what just happened. You think he's diminishing her, and I said his facts aren't diminishing. I don't think so because he's just calling her out of what it is of, of like what it is in the dojo. And that's like saying all. That's like saying just because he's saying facts don't mean he can't diminish her as well. And I'm saying he's saying uh, facts now, now and he's now, diminishing now, her. Now you're doing a of what it could. Be. I'm not doing. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. Damn, we've had this conversation. That's what I've been okay. saying from the beginning. I said earlier they can't be mutually exclusive. I said they can't. They don't have to be mutually exclusive. I said you can say facts and you can freaking be diminishing someone. I've said that multiple times, and now all of a sudden you just hearing it. Okay, son. Okay, son. Please, I've said that multiple times. That just because it's a fact, don't mean he's not also diminishing her, son. Our whole thing has been like you saying that it's diminishing, and I'm saying it's not, and I gave my reason for it's not. You know what I'm saying? You said how it's not. And I just told so you. So is it not. your reason or cats? Because one minute you said it wasn't your opinion and now you're saying it I'm is. I'm what we're talking about in the story, dog. Of course, like, it goes back to we go into full context of what I said in the original. How is it? No, you're saying it's not diminishing because it's facts. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying his facts aren't diminished because that he's calling out in the realm of what he is in the dojo. And you saying that it's diminished. I was like, and oh. it's facts. I'm saying facts can be diminishing. And you're trying to tell me they can't be. How? I ain't saying they can't be, dog. I said, no, you say he's diminishing because he's breaking her down. He's not saying anything positive about her. I he's say he's getting... these things. So he's diminishing her career. Do you understand what you're saying? That you say he, that he is diminishing her? And I said, I don't think so. And why? And he's just calling her out because as a comedian, he's calling her to the dojo. And he can't be doing both? He can't, you can't diminish somebody and fucking go call and facts? he's not. And How? He, and he is. How? And I'm just telling you again. How? He's calling her out at the dojo. You're, you're not separating it at all. You're just saying. You are not. You just keep saying it's because, because he's saying facts. you decide what is diminished. No, I'm not what trying to decide. You Do you know the definition of the word? Do you know the definition of the word? Because apparently you don't. To diminish someone is to when you only say something negative. That was that's the definition. That is the definition of the word. All he said was something negative. You're saying you, you're saying you're saying because he's saying facts is not diminishing. I'm saying you can say facts and diminish. I'm and saying, so tell me how 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 is that not true? How can those you, facts are you all consider that I don't consider them negative. You do. So that's up to perception. You think those facts are negative. I just see that it is what it is, without a negative or positive to it. He just called it out as it is what it is. You see it as a negative. Because he specifically, when anyone has said anything positive about her, responded with something negative to counter it. That's what people do. That is not what he's doing, or are we blind? All right, are we blind? She's funny. Oh, she had other bitches to back her up. She did this, but she didn't write that shit. He's it, calling out certain things what it is, dog. Because the thing is, there's certain people that have a hype to it. They they like 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 they, they just giving us certain shit that shouldn't be and it's, it's calling it what it is. But you looking at you said dog. that's an opinion giving us shit that she shouldn't that say shouldn't be. That's an opinion as well. That is all this is, is his opinion. You and said it was facts. To... Now well, you're saying it's his opinion, and all I'm saying all right. is you can have a fact, you can have an opinion, but you, if it's, it's also no, diminishing, no, 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 it's also is, diminishing. Is, if you're saying anything positive, the, that's the definition of the word. Okay, dog. Fuck. He's diminishing, dog. Fuck. You're the winner. <laughs> Fuck. He's diminishing. Words matter. Yeah, I know, though. They, yeah, they Being sarcastic don't change the fact. Anyway, Maine Governor Le, Paul Le, Paul LePage criticized for racist remarks. Because, yeah, words matter. This motherfucker came out here actually straight up calling people like, like black people, basically. Like, what was he saying? He said nothing but another white person saying some more right, racist shit got caught again. He's just a mayor. What city is this? Maine. Governor. Maine, oh. Who's the governor? White people land. For yeah. Real. The main yeah. white land? Yeah. That's what really made that shit in Kenna so fucking like... Like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, really, like, we know Kenna races. Here in New Orleans especially. Yeah. But it really put that icing on it of... Damn, I like... Know, like, now we, like, y'all fucking cut the, cut the lights on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, somebody yeah. finally put them on tape. <laughs> but I've been saying it for 40 years in the governor's office. No, they put them on tape. It's like what he says. Y'all cut the lights on. Like... Damn, son, it's like damn, it's like it's like if you you could it's like if you had this, this if you knew this girl that that claimed that she don't like fat niggas or a dude that don't like fat women, whatever the fuck they say. I don't mean to be fucked up in my burbage, but like, but you always see them with a plus size person, a plus size person, but they keep telling you, uh 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 uh. But nigga, what you talking about? That they, they finally say, yeah, plus size people, they they sexy, bitch. <laughs> what you mean? And when you see this person, like, Joe maybe not even want to get into the story now. Fuck it. Like, fuck the gang governor. I mean, fuck the governor Paul. Because <laughs> when you, cause when you so like, like, it's like, oh, wait. Somebody said something in the office got caught. All right. 
That put him on the list. He diminished my story. It's not diminishing. It's facts. It's not diminishing. It's facts. So like, bro, and, and, and Philando Castile mama, and that's what I'm saying, We this is in the same c- country where Philando Castile mama still got to fight for this man because the NRA out here try to blame him for his own death. And that's so... F- <laughs> oh, wow. Of course. So, like, like, dog, no, like... The NRA, dog, number one, I'm not, there's another one I'm not surprised. Yeah, Cause they ain't about black no, black no, about no It's black just so no funny how they try to claim everything is about rights for gun owners, and this man did ex- like, like it's I, a dog and pony show. But no, it's hilarious because whenever somebody's been killed by a gun, like unnecessarily, like people come for the NRA, and the NRA yeah, and they, they people stand tall. they stand yeah. tall for the gun owners because this and this. Philando Castile did, which would really this would be a story y'all should be eating up. Y'all should be eating this story up like, yeah, see, because he had a gun on him. But no, instead of supporting this nigga, you go take it to a, but you, what y'all saying? He shouldn't have had the gun that y'all be fighting so hard for? Because uh, in the times of Blue Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter, they're going to ride with the Blue Lives. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's the, that's, that's the NRA. Isn't that like the, the running joke? Like, I feel like it's a joke at this point. Like, if it's a white person or whatever, yeah, we're going to ride, ride, ride. If it's one of y'all, psh, you had it coming. Like, no matter if you're part of the association page of dudes. Or not. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, 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 that's the whole comedy of it, dog. And, and do this shit right in front of our face every them. time. And they out there trying to say this man wasn't in love by a gun owner. Of course. But he yes, was. Of course, of course. That's why his mom, like, but he was. And that still didn't save him from getting killed by this cop who don't know. Like, like don't don't put my, my son's name out there like that all fucked up. Yeah, dog. Nah, son, nah. He married that man, son. He married that man in cold blood in front of his child and his wife. And that nigga didn't get no time for it. And niggas like that, I don't know, dog. Sometimes I be wondering when, like what Jay Z said, you know what I'm saying? Niggas killed ex for Zimmerman Lee. Y'all you know? saw that Zimmerman uh, picture of him signing the Skittles and the KKK flag? Yeah. I mean, the Confederate flag? Yeah. He's trying to kill us all. Flag, same <laughs> yeah, same flag, but it's still like. Yeah, nigga, dog. He, he, no, he really got some nuts, dog. He really got some white backing to him. Because you would think once you get away with something like that, you'll kind of fade in the black back. But he really said, oh, okay. I feel like at first he did, and then he realized, wait, niggas ain't about to do me nothing. And he now he just don't give a fuck. He, like, he, he out. He don't give a damn. He don't give a fuck, dog. That nigga's a wild animal on the loose. People be saying, oh my God, that man really wants to die. He just want to go. I don't know why nobody just want to take him out. He just, he ready to go. Cause he, he <laughs> and, and, and I'll cut, and I'm not, and that's the thing. It's a, it's a, it's a funny place to be in because you don't want to say, man, like put a hit out on a nigga. It'd be like, man, y'all need to go kill this nigga. But at the same time, it is a funny question to be like, wait, of all the people that y'all killing and all the people that y'all destroying for all the stupid ass reasons that people are dying and losing their lives, this nigga who really got away with actual murder, nobody, nobody, nobody got those balls. So they said after OJ, y'all niggas wasn't getting away with shit. And I and I like I said I don't want to lean into hey y'all go kill Zimmerman but it's still like you say y'all why is he still living though <laughs> why, why is he at least not if he's not living why not Zimmerman is the question if if y'all if not even killed why ain't he beat up, beat up more like there've been a couple of cases of him getting his ass whooped but, but no everywhere he shouldn't be like he should be out there in makeup it should be a oh, scarlet right. letter nigga that like nigga, right that nigga should have a big ass T on his fucking chest. And every and every and every judge and cop and politician that's black should be in on it. Uh, if Zimmerman get fucked up, you just gonna kind of look the other way, or you gonna kind of take your time coming to the Depending scene. Depending on the beating, you will get a hundred dollar fine. You hear me? <laughs> like it's always some like you won't talk about justice, black cops. You won't talk about standing up for both sides. Like that's some justice right there, son. I ain't saying let the man get his ass murdered, but uh, like so you know what I mean? Hey, hey. why he be in Florida? He should have been there. <laughs> I'm not trying to go with that now. I'm sorry, son. He should be. He should be alligator food. By now, it's. <sighs> Don't come to New Orleans with that shit, homie. You will be wild boar food. <laughs> wild boar. I'm wondering. Kill I'm wondering, like, it, and you, see, when, when history is being made and you're in it, you dig. You ain't really like as aware of things going on. And like, I'm just wondering, like, if when the when when people are reading back on this time. What type of crazy ass shit they gonna be thinking we let go go down? They gonna think let we pop were, off. We were crazy people. Like all the people like to rock them shirts. Oh, I'm not my ancestors. I'm a fight, y'all. Really? 
Because I'm sure it's already been fucking disrespectful. Well, but they I, got a lot I, of I, shit. I understand what it means. Like when people first read it, we other people had to like, it was some older heads that had to be we like, get it. the way to look. Because that means that you saying shit like that, you we don't know it. your history. We get it. We get it. I get, I get it. But still at the same time, when you but say, you gotta get that ass, man. if Zimmerman is out here chilling, you can't wear a shirt like that. Right. If damn near all these niggas that was had famed, famed murders of people and they out here like Darren Wilson, you hear me and stuff. If they if they still out here chilling and stuff and in the, in their hometowns at that. Just walking around getting their breakfast. Nigga. Y'all y'all breakfast. Y'all better burn them dumb ass shirts, bro, because y'all y'all ain't real, son. Nah, you feel nah, me? People, I wish I had the bravery people, of, people of people our people. Hype, son, and people our, our ancestors. Woke. Right. I wish I had the bravery of our ancestors, dog, because that's, that's, that's some next son, level yeah. shit. If we have the strength like they had, dog. It's next level, like you said. You feel me? And like we also in the land of uh and then y'all there's this and they got this racist white man. I'm laughing at his ass because apparently he was like, My life got ruined after he went viral. I'm calling this black man a nigga, man. Y'all heard about that? No, what happened? White Ohio contractor said his life was ruined <laughs> after a video. Oh, yeah, post- yeah, him, him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this this crazy his, shit. His life is ruined, yeah. I see. Like, oh, I, I love I, it. Oh, woe is you. That's great. That's that's perfect. Jeff Whitman told the publication Sunday that people shared pictures of him online and that his business was left with hundreds of negative reviews on Yelp. Perfect. I mean, about time y'all white people do y'all racist people do the same type of shit on black shit. Just start trolling trolling. It was an awful mistake and obviously I don't know how to explain it and it's ruined my life and it's ruined my family's life. You don't know how to explain it. You know how to explain it, dog. You know how to explain it. You hate niggas. You hate right. right. You what hate niggas. That's Period. What That's what you said. You gonna come with the I thought the bitch was white. <laughs> Remember that shit? I don't know if y'all saw that video, <laughs> dog. This white lady was pulling that same shit, uh, calling somebody a nigger and all this stuff. And then uh, one got called on it because she was getting caught off the jail and all her shit getting ruined. Her business getting closed. She gonna yell out, I thought the bitch was white. You ain't think oh, that bitch was white. Get the fuck here. up out of here, man. My God, that's Run so your sad. shit. I think that is so funny. Run your jewels. Run the jewels. <laughs> Whitman was caught on video <laughs> harassing a black man. Whitman. Charles. Harassing a black man. He just harassing a black man. <laughs> so can, so I said a Claus harassing a black man. Nigga, race. What was the original video at, bro? I want to. I is remember just, that shit. I was like, check this man out. Check him out. Yo. You're a fucking nigga. Is that a reason why you just followed me to my house? It's you did just follow me to my house. Okay, how can I help you? You said what? You want to let how much of a nigger I am? Yeah, you personally know how much a nigger. And so I'm a nigger because because, because you don't because you don't follow signs. I'm I'm rude because you don't know how to read signs. You turn it. You turn it. This lady, this man follows me home. I can't explain it. What's a do? That's a man. Oh, all right, so, yeah. First and foremost, you dumb motherfucker, you have your truck with your business oh, on the side of the door. Oh, you wildin', dog. <laughs> and you got the nerve to roll up on somebody and cause heat in your work truck, and you thought that nothing was going to happen to you? Right. Oh, you Asking and you people how much a nigga are you? <laughs> Son. Tell me, I didn't know, know what I said. How much a nigga you are. Oh, Son. I don't know why I said it. Bitch, you I, I need to feel like, I need to know... Like, you don't I only need to know. I know the answer to this, dog. You chose that black man because he was an unassuming black man that you felt like wouldn't fuck you up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because you I refuse to believe fuck, that you'll roll up on any nigga like that with like that. Certain shit, like, that you have that fear or that stereotypical fear you have. Right. Come on, son. You wouldn't roll up on that nigga. That nigga. You rolled up to this man's yeah. house. Now the way he even said it. Do you know how much of a nigger you are? <laughs> and he said it over and over again. I'm like, yeah. wait. Cause he meant it. You ain't meant not a word or a syllable. You meant every fucking word he said. And now bro. you want, now you got the nerve to want some kind of, some kind of fucking remorse and pity and sympathy. Nah, nigga, eat a whole that. box of long jockeys. In my life, <laughs> that that that's fine. So I'm a nigga because you can't read street signs, right? So why am I a nigga? I didn't cut you off. If you no, it's too late. If you look. <laughs> Nigga really got a real argument. Like, why you, nigga really broke him down? Why yeah. you call me this? It's not. It's not what I'm saying at all. You're a nigga because you can't drive. <laughs> 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 you get that simple. That's how simple it gets. Nah. Yeah. 
You stupid ass with a dumb nigga. Oh my god, like, like, dude. I think that was the moment he realized his business was on his truck. And, and you wondering why, man? We look at that stories <laughs> like freaking uh, what's Gagger, Amber Geiger, and feeling like, dog, this lady might get off because we're in a country where a nigga could feel so privileged, so fucking uh, empowered that he can roll up on a nigga and call him a nigga. He wouldn't even done that to his fellow white man. Go roll up in the man house because he know he most likely would probably get away with whatever. Him home, son. son. Niggas kill niggas for for less. Nigga follow them home. Niggas kill niggas for less. So he had the right to stand his ground when he came to his house. Oh, we're not, maybe not because he's black. Who knows, dog? And it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just a hilarious scene that the yeah, obvious. They'd have found weed in, his, uh, in, in your black dude van. You're right. They'd, they'd have found everything, son. They'd have, they'd have found Osama and he did. So it's just, I don't know. It, 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 it just gets oh, un... Is it? <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> mm. They keep letting off these pedophile white ladies too, bruh. And that's another chip. This yeah, another one just got like nine months probation wow. for sucking like an eleven year old dick. Wow. See, so nigga, I go to jail too, son. So what's that about? They just it, gotta protect the white woman at all costs, son. Even at the cost of kids, dog. Son, because when you look at it in the same light of white lady come in, murk, 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 black man dead. Y'all letting these white women fucking molest kids. Yeah. Your kids and mine. It's all right though. They're boys, so they should like it anyway. Yep. Ain't that a bitch, dog? Because you know it. for a absolute fact if it was a gender reverse. What? If it was a gender and race reverse. Because you never know. They let white men rape. They let white men rape. We seen Brock Turner get them three months. They let white men do a lot of shit called a sickness. Mm -hmm. But I know if Tyrone, if Tyrone Henderson was even accused of touching <laughs> little, little Jamie, 11, 12-year-old Jamie, we never even gonna hear him. He gonna get be murdered crucified. before he even get the charge that he know he gonna get. He'll be hung by his neck in front of City Hall. And what you saying? Town to see. No, that's it. Oh, and I and, and I don't even want to get into the same old like rhetoric, but it's just like it's just hilarious to see the cycle. Like it's just like wow, like y'all 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 do it. Now we see you, and you're still gonna do it. And even if we call you on it, you like yeah, you see me, and you're still gonna do it. It's like damn, like so. And we under and like when Barack was in office, you had that feel of okay, man, my government kind of got me a little bit when it comes to shit like this. <sighs> It's gonna be an interesting time to look back on. Yeah. And that was the air too fair today, man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't got nothing majorly like you know. Oh, I forgot before we even end air too fair today. This was for you, Don D, because it made me laugh. What? Uh, Christian comedian Ricky Smiley now questions the Bible. Says some parts uphold racism, white supremacy. Oh, so you finally read it. <laughs> 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 I can't even follow that up. <laughs> oh, so you finally read it. Wow. So, what is he trying to say? That he's a fucking non-believer now or some shit? Get the fuck out of here. He has doubts at the, the very least. Uh, he has some questions. That's got to be some kind of ploy because a big chunk of his audience is very Christian. You know what I'm saying? Old school. That's his audience. Like... Like, he has, of course, he does have secular fans, but, no, no, his, no, but audience his, his audience is, like, is, old school Christian. It's Christian audience. It's Christian and it's like, like, you're putting your career on the chopping block? You might be like, what is, what you saying? Let's, uh, let's see. I'm really questioning some of the Bible stories, and I think some of that stuff in the Bible is set up to train black people to be submissive to systematic racism and white supremacy. Google that history. I believe. <laughs> that you believe, huh? Finally. And turn the other cheek or whatever. People don't mess with nobody that fights back. Folks, they don't mess with nobody that fights back. Black people have been taught to forgive and turn the other cheek for 400 years. And what has changed? Nothing. Really, nigga? I feel like this is stuff that I've already been through as a... I hope you ain't riding on a woke wave. Maybe. He's talking about these black preachers that we was calling coons the other day really woke. That's what I think woke is. He's saying woke his ass up. And that nigga's been around forever. I mean, I'm like, dude. I like, mean, I guess, I guess you can get mad when that nigga took off his blinders. You're right. You're absolutely right. But at the same time, it's just funny. Like, at a point, I'm, I can't ignore it. Man, you, you kind of too old. Too old, dog. To and not have at least seen remnants of this previously. This shit's been talked about throughout the ages. That's why I say it's a Google, dog. And you famous. It's not like you don't have access to information. Right. So you don't read the book. That's obvious, that's dog. The, that's the you thing. really don't read the book. And and you've been taking sort of the passages that you've been getting from your church and using those parts of your life without actually fully reading the fucking book. And I won't say it's you I won't say it's as simple as you don't read the book as much as 
you you bought into the you bought in. And if whatever, whatever you because do, let's say if you ever do read the book, it's based on someone else's immature like uh, you bought into what you yeah. Was, yeah. Like because I'm saying they got people read their Bibles all the time and still don't see these things because they have because they've been sold from what a pastor that leads their life. And many times you get you get directed to most of the same uh the same type of uh, passages and such. And if you already got your mind that this thing means no harm to me, uh, you might even you might read something controversial and automatically make up a justification because you've already been embedded and indoctrinated in this yeah, doesn't mean me harm. Yeah, this is what we talk about, and there's a yeah. whole bunch of things that play into that. So, it's, but it's just a very interesting thing. That I'll give him these props though. It's brave for him to come forward and say this, given the fact that that is his audience. He could be shooting his career in the foot. Brave and. Free. Foolish. I'm not. I mean, I can't even hardly distinguish between the two. two in his case, because, like we said, dog, his like that's his audience. That's dog. your money. So it's like that's your money. Are you sticking by this, or is this like Maybe. a one-off comment on hey, some son, shit? Sometimes, like, sometimes you gotta stick to your guns when you made enough money. <laughs> When you made enough money. I mean, you we, we, we starting to see that pretty often, though, dog. I made enough. I don't have to sit. I don't yeah. have to check the job, you motherfuckers. Yeah. No I never read the Bible. I finally read this shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? Man, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Thanks for the money. Here. Thank you, man. Thank you for living my life. I'm sorry. living my best life. <laughs> hey, going back and forth with you niggas. That's funny. I'll, and we can say this. We, we've seen this happen with a lot of stars when they get to a certain level of wealth. Yeah. Then I'm not even going to... And when I say they true colors come out, I'm not saying that in the normal negative light that you really mean. I mean, like, some of them, you see them become some parts of themselves you never saw coming. Like, oh, so this is what you was on. Oh, this is what you've grown into, and that's what you're doing with your money. True you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, it's interesting um, yeah. that, you know what I mean? Because we was just big up in Beyonce and such. Like, I mean, if you can watch her growth. To the point where it's like, damn, Beyonce, nah, she don't give a fuck. She woke, she doing her thing. She don't care what y'all, I'm going to sing about sex. I'm going to sing about Black Panthers. I'm going to do me. Feel me? My nigga Ricky Smiley said, you know what, bro? This shit racist. I can't front. I got to move on with my life through that. So and, back to Kristen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck and, you doing? And my thing is, dog, I don't feel like, I feel like, the, I feel like the biggest con of Christianity is getting people to believe that the Bible is infallible. I feel mm -hmm. like you can still have your religion and still... And still maintain that because the book is not necessarily infallible. It, will, it, it puts Pascal's wager in almost every time you start to question it. Basically, yeah. I mean, yeah. but that's when you're supposed to preach that faith stuff. I'm not against you preaching faith. I'm against preaching faith on wrong pre on wrong pretenses. Blind faith is a dangerous thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's yeah. my problem. I'm saying the same thing. Don't they? They don't don't teach blind faith. You can be real and be like, okay, this part of the Bible ain't real. This part is something that we should take in. This part may or may not have happened, but here go the reason why we should they, like be be real Even about be the life lessons, man. be pragmatic and truthful about yes, it. Just be more fucking pragmatic and that's forthcoming. A way to, to uh, put it, I think you know, because you don't need everything. Obviously, right? You don't do everything now in the fucking that's Bible. That's in the Bible, right? You know what I'm saying? So just be more. Truthful about that shit, you know. And we talking about the people in leadership. You feel yes. me? Because it's bad enough if you look at the Catholicism side that we got a culture of rapists and shit, and oh, niggas man. ain't even not even identifying or acknowledging that shit within their own circles. Yeah. It's just taking outside forces to rectify something. That if you the church, yeah. you supposed to rectify that shit. That should have been deaded decades ago. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be a running it's joke. No, it's a running no, joke. It's, it's out. That's out. It's, it's like it's like black boys getting killed by cops, priests raping little boys. It's a it, it, it's when a, it gets to that point in the zeitgeist. It's beyond being a problem. This is part of culture. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's embedded in for so long. I don't know how long. Because I've been living around for a long time. Yeah, so that shit's probably been embedded for the culture. Like, Priest like, raping boys need this should be one of the lead, should, one of the things that should never have ever been part of the culture, accepted in any manner. You know what I mean? You're a priest. It's like the antithesis. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that goes beyond. Of it all. Dude. Yeah. And you the people that we supposed to be but having lead us. These niggas have been doing this for thousands of years. This is sort of part of this is world culture. Yeah. And we call cops good cops to task. We should call good priests to task. Why y'all ain't selling out your own niggas? Why it took outside Sorry. investigations to get into this Why shit? Why y'all can't get y'all no pussy? It's not about the pussy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I can't about the pussy if you over there looking for the booty. I mean, dog, they don't even want pussy, dog. They might no. just want them little boys, or they might just want booty, dog. They might just do what they want. But at the end of the day, they need not even be on that. And these motherfucking people that's in their leadership should be, be should be taking that shit down. They should be lead, like I said, like we said, the good cops should be leading the charge against the fuck shit. The good priests need to be leading the charge, nigga. If it's if it's in, if it's in that environment, because in both institutions, we supposed to be trusting y'all. Right, son. We supposed to be trusting y'all, like past. Dog, pre, uh, pope, 
uh, priests and cops? What they, they call them? Priests and what else they call them? They call them what? Um, I mean, they got pastors, they got preachers, they got reverends. No, no, I'm talking about the Catholic. The Catholic they call them something. The top like, motherfuckers, the Pope. Yeah, but what they call them? They got archbishops. Bishops and father. Oh, guess, father this, father yeah. that. Like, oh, like, dog, you, you the father of these people, dog. The father of their children. You going around raping them, dog. And you know what else? I don't know what kind of fucking parents these fucking kids got and what kind of shit is going on that, and how deep the church is because, like, like, it's so hard that one of these kids been saying shit and no one heard about it because there's no way thousands are like... It's too many layers. Sure. It's too many layers for me to even go at the parents because, once again, we're, we're under the indoctrination of these men are the most trustworthy motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to blame a parent for thinking they can trust the little boy around the... the pre like, we took out the context of priest race, uh Priest raping boys. Take that out. Let's say that didn't exist because a lot for a lot of these people, that's how they feel that their yeah. priest ain't going to do that. So I can't hate on you for trusting him. I'm going to always put that blame on that fucked up person yeah. knowing that they got that trust. The teachers too. It's so many. Yeah. Like, and that's one thing I will so say. Teachers trust, be out in teachers. A teacher throw another teacher under the bus that's been doing some fucked up shit. I you feel me? That. I'll say that, dog. But it's just it's just a mess, dog. But you know, Ricky Smiley, just keep reading, keep growing. They really show you too. You ain't never too old to learn something new, man. It's true. Straight up. Yeah, you know I mean, that shit get deep. You got the matrix. Yeah, man. Well, that was that at two of, of the, the day. day. Mm -hmm. I believe the children are the future. Mm -hmm. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Mm -hmm. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Shh, Woo. Shh, shh. Give them a sense of pride, y'all. Me, me, yeah. <laughs> yes, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go there. Tell it, though, Samara. Cut. I'm a winner, the biggest little nigga heaven delivered. Gonna be remembered forever. A fella fighting for better than living regular. Hungry, broke, worship, and cheddar. I'm a new mad nigga excelling over you settlers. I've had enough of just enough. Rather, death and dust than I'm measuring up. I'm ready to bust. The only pipe I think that the pressure was on. No nigga, I don't need no woman. Only power that I'm needing staring at me in the mirror. Cause I'm on my me. Cause I'm on my me, bitch. Cause I'm on my me. Your credit, you can keep your help. Even if God ain't got me, then I got myself. Cause I'm on my me, cause I'm on my me, bitch. Cause I'm on my me, look. And nigga that you know got a dream, and even worse, even more niggas got jobs. Alright, what the fuck is going on in this country now? Novice who wrote about how to, oh yeah, I've seen this. Uh, novice who wrote about how to murder your husband, charged with murdering her husband. You're an idiot. <laughs> like, if Nancy I would have murdered Crampton. her, that's how I would have did it, the OJ story. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that, that's our version. You seem to have a knack for writing about the murder of spouses. Nancy Crampton, Crampton Brophy. Brophy. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. Uh, the Portland, Oregon-based romance novelist wrote books about relationships that were wrong but never felt so right. <laughs> In quotes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, often featuring... Bare-chested men, men on the cover. Oh, right. Wow. In The Wrong Cop, she wrote about a woman who spent every day of her marriage fantasizing about killing her husband. Wow, bitch. Of course she killed her husband. That shit is absurd, dude. What else? Uh, oh, and in How to Murder Your Husband, an essay, she wrote about how to get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else? She wrote the post on the blog C. Jane published in 2011 of November describing five core motives and a number of murder weapons Whoa. from which she would choose if her character were to kill a husband in a romance novel. She advised hiring a hitman against. to do dirty work. Against. She said oh, she advised against, against hiring. Against nah, I, mean, yeah, I, I got this myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I working myself. Oh, my God. An amazing number of hitmen rat you out to the police. And hire and, and again hiring a lover. Never a good idea. Poison was not advised either because it's traceable. <laughs> Who wants to hang out with a sick husband? Oh, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> Bitch crazy. In real life, she appeared to follow some of her own advice, according to the police. Rather than hire a hitman, she allegedly pulled the trigger herself. 60, wow. She was 68, was arrested on charges of murdering her husband with a gun and unlawful use of weapon in the death of her husband, Daniel Brophy. She was arraigned on Thursday, appeared in blue inmate clothing, ordered to jail without bail. You a dumb motherfucker to wait to get 70 years old to spend the rest of your life in jail she doing some stupid shit. She got wrapped up in that shit. fucking storytelling, though, yep. and that shit got fucking it, real fun. It was, it was the world to her after that. Yep.
That shit, that shit just turned real, and she killed her husband. Nigga, and she went she method. She was gonna get get away with that shit and write a book about it based on the true story. <laughs> and that's how Not she today, was going. Bitch. No, this shit crazy. She went method in writing. Yeah, she was doing like real life research. Meisner. The Daniel Meisner. Day Lewis Meisner. of the motherfucking uh, literature age. Like, goddamn. Man. That wow, sucks, dude. damn, son. And, and dog, if you the husband, you like, man, we we didn't grow to be old. Now why they not gonna fucking this how I go out? Her? What this old lady? Yeah, because we live in an ageist society. And she's not sexy and and yeah. she's not a cop. If she's a cop. She get away with it. She old, old too. Fuck. She ain't a cop. She's an old cop. She get away with it. If she was old. She wouldn't. Oh, fuck this legal system. Cop. You right? But if she was. <laughs> <laughs> she was. That's when they throw under the bus. Goddamn Agnes with your old blind ass, you can't shoot. <laughs> Agnes. So, <laughs> girl catches boyfriend liking other girls' Instagram pictures in the other room. What? And I'm just laughing that this was even a story. Right, well, I think this is being a story. I'm like, this is the age we're in. When no, this is a story. Because that's, in her mind, that's, this nigga flirting with her right in front of me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's hilarious how this nigga fucked up. But damn, this is a news story. Like, yeah. this ain't just gossip. This ain't on, this is actual, like, getting shared and viral with people on it. Like, wow, this is part and of millennial And I don't see millennial the team. Right, this is like, that's what, that's what makes me a little bit older. Than but this. it is, but it's papaya. It is funny, though. Like, story unfolds like any Netflix and chill. Boyfriend and girlfriend snuggling, making love when duty calls for the guy at number two bathroom break. The guy being a human being living in the year 2018 busts out his iPhone and starts scrolling through IG totally normal. Unbeknownst to him, his phone is still connected to the TV from their Netflix and chill where his girlfriend watches him in full outrage, begin to dig his own grave. Let's see if we got a video of this. Let's see if we can see it ourselves. Yeah, let me see. Oh, Look at this dumb motherfucker. He forgot his phone was on Apple TV. I see everything. Uh, You're mad uh, thirsty. Look at this thirsty bitch. <laughs> Oh, you want to comment, like boy? I dare you. God, I dare you. <laughs> you would dare you. Oh, you know what? You know fucking what? what? That's hilarious. What you doing, y'all? What you doing? Shut it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Should 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 don't close the door on me. You're not out here liking pictures on Instagram of big booty bitches? That's not what you're doing? Oh, why you looking at me stupid? Because that's exactly no, what you're doing. No, you're no, dumb ass no, fuck. You're dumb ass for God. <laughs> <laughs> Apple TV, dumb bitch. I'm out here thirsty. Oh, put my business oh, on. Oh, I'm out here. Yeah, oh. why are you looking at my stuff for? You dumb ass left it. That's not my fault. So you turn your head. No, fuck out of here, you thirsty bitch. I should have brought you water for how thirsty you was. Damn. That's what you want to comment? No. That's, what, that's how you feel when you no. see other shorties? No. Yeah, I am. Look at this. Yeah, it's some comedy shit. I mean, it's some comedy shit. Yeah, dog. It's suspect. It's, it's suspect. Damn, that's comedy. Plus, I think I've seen that dude before. Yeah, shit. yeah. I Even feel if, like it was, if, it, if it was real, like, what you tripping for? Like, he's just looking at, at like, like, some some shit that's, like, out of nowhere. Like, it had no, nothing to do with you. You know, just whatever. I mean, uh, friend I was put up a thing about, uh, about like, people on, um, couples of being on each other's wall and stuff and there's some folk wrote under that about that's why we don't follow each other like some couples it's funny like when then some couples don't even follow each other because of shit like this and we like look we ain't about to even had a drama we ain't about to be yeah. friends like uh uh-uh. uh I ain't about to go crazy cause damn dog like social media has changed dating period it can never go back it won't ever go back it shall never go back <sighs> did y'all hear about Trump saying he wanted to print more money to get us out of uh, our debt Trump's stupid, son. We print money. Anyway. This is a nigga in office. You want to be the nigga rolling up and calling somebody a nigga? Somebody to roll up on Trump and with you that exact sincerity. Nigger. You don't you know you're a nigga? You have disgraced this White House, you dirty nigga. You're a nigga. Like, that's, that's, that's what... No, that's not even nigga behavior, son. That's really straight up white trash. Absolute nigga. I wanted to even indulge in nothing about Trump. It just was so funny thing. Like you can, it's, it's like when, when you when you see all the points of everything that Trump has done since being in office and leading up to being in office. It's like bullet points. Of, like you could, it's bullet points of preposterousness, and you could almost be like, what's false and what's true, and it'd be hard to figure out what ain't right and what is right if you if you threw some fake shit up there because the things he's done is shit that should have never been done. Son. This nigga's cutting student loan forgiveness? Yeah, he doing that too. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. That's the most one of the most Republican things he's ever done. <laughs> cutting student loan forgiveness, dog. Oh my god. Ain't no forgiveness around here, bitch. 
God forgive those. I don't. I mean, apparently, son, it, I can't wait for the movie. To, like, he need to get out of office, and then they need to make him a movie about all this. Oh, it's going down. The movie gonna be epic. Oh my god, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing, and yeah, he need to be alive to see it. It's gonna be an epic movie, dog. Straight up. That's getting the hero highlights. Is this nigga just a, such a buzz kill? Buzz kill. Stop the madness. Stop, stop the madness. 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 So, first up. Female chief terminates 850 child marriages in Malawi and sends girls back to school. You damn right you did. Yep, I read the story about this later a little bit. Uh, uh, Malawian, I hope I said that right, female chief has established a new law to prevent child marriage in Malawi and has terminated approximately 850 child marriages across the country to date. Theresa Kachadamoto. That's Theresa. Oh, Theresa? That's how a lot. That's how a lot. So they don't always spell it with an H, but. Yes. Teresa Kachindamoto, I hope I said that right again. I can't help you. A senior chief in the Deza district of Malawi claimed that her decision to take a stand came from her frustration over seeing 12-year-old girls walking around with babies on their hips. According to a 2012 United Nations survey, more than half of Malawi girls are married before the age of 18. In addition, the country is ranked 8 out of 20 countries believed to have the highest child marriage rates in the world. Chief Catching the no oh shit. Catching the moto. Catching the moto is changing this one step at a time and has begun annulling more than 850 child marriages, sending hundreds of children, women back to school to continue their education, and making astonishing stories to abolish strides to strides to abolish cleansing rituals that requires young girls to go to a sexual initiation camp. Sexual initiation camps. What the fuck? This was happening out here in this world. We talk about dealing with America, dog. We talk, man, use a hero. Yeah. Like, come on, son. Jesus. That don't even make sense to be happening, but that's culture. We talk about culture, talk about indoctrinations and all right. that. Should that's their norm. And ions, things before America. That's their norm. Long before America. And that's nasty. It is. But it take people like her to step up because people like that die or get killed for fighting against like these established norms and rituals and, yeah. you know. Just like that rapper that's uh, trying to run for, uh, for uh, I think, like, President in Africa. Really? Yeah, man. He's been like assassinated, trying to been a he did been attempted assassination a few times, dog. And he was this rapper that went got into politics. I'm gonna look at his name right now. Hold on. I, damn, dog. That's what that's what it reminded me of. I wouldn't have that on my mind. That's what the story reminded me of. Besides that, rapper Lil John breaks ground on second school in Ghana. That's Who would have known that he was doing that? Yeah. Lil John out here making school, like building schools in Ghana and shit, dog. Yeah, that's awesome. That's that long money he got, dog. Because you know, what I mean, he he knew how to do things on both sides of the camera, son. He write the songs. He still produce. You feel me? Even when he like, even when you think he quiet, this man and done all kind of shit, still making that money. Yeah. Son, this man said, you know what? I got enough money, I can put this gasoline tank down, I ain't got to drink this no more. I'm about to get crunk on building schools now, because I don't know if he even make beats. I hope he still do, but he got enough money to where he ain't got to make beats. Seem like He, he got that back in, bro. He donated 70 stacks to get two schools off the ground just to start. Like, what? Damn. You know what I mean? And uh, he's famous for launching the careers of Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, is what they're saying. So, like, this nigga got money, and also residuals and such, that, that go around. It's like... People be rich and you don't be knowing they be rich. That's the kind of rich I want to be. When yeah, some, yeah, when you see I did some big level thing, you're like, damn, he got that kind of money. I didn't even think about that. Good. You didn't. Right. You didn't. Let me make my movies and my TV in peace. In peace. Don't think about my, don't think about my stacks. Right. Uh, Mark Caesar, funny enough, had this thing up about how um, he don't want the fame or uh, moves or something about not wanting fame and shit. And I'm like, I want to be prolific. So, like, fame come with that. It's like, mm -hmm. if you really want to, like, leave your mark, it's not that you want, I don't want fame, but I know that's part of wanting to leave a mark. So, it's like a funny thing. Like, it's like, damn, you can't escape it. But some people know how to manage it well. And I think doing good deeds is one way to manage it in a pretty, in a pretty good way. Such as Ashton Kutcher. He, dog, he has an organization that's identified 2,000 child victims of trafficking in the last six yeah, months. I saw that. That's crazy. He's been doing God's work. Yeah. Son. Nigga, guess what? <laughs> I like it. That's good work. I just, in my mind, I just think, like, as he catching these sex predators, 
He's coming out with the cameras. You've been pumped. Motherfucker, yeah, you thought you was coming in here for a sexual, <laughs> sexual thing, huh? Nah, you punk, nigga. You going to jail. Ah, it's us, the police. Ah. Nigga said the new punk. This was that nigga uh, they, who had this shit to catch a predator. So he yeah, the new yeah, yeah. Ashton Chris, Kutcher. Chris Hansen, I love him. Ashton Kutcher is the right new right Chris Hansen. And he punk in these sex traffickers. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> so you said you want to rip your throat and, and, and have her choke you out, huh? <laughs> what were you thinking? No, he always did it with them. What were you thinking? That's when the boys started to run. Nah, you got you, bitch. Head, but you go to jail. Got gotcha, you, bitch. I love you. You go to jail. In the wake of this Kenner mayor doing fuck shit, Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Bottoms, ordered the city to end relationship with ICE and remove all detainees from their city jails. Sesta, sesta. Right, do your thing, baby. God's work. Black women saving the world once again, dog. You feel me? It's like that's all I got to say on. I was like, damn, son. Like when you talk about somebody I look up to, when you talk about people actually doing right with their power. You know what I mean? Because so many times you got these bad stories of right. political figures. Anytime I can see a political figure do, even if they, I don't care what color or creed you are, right. you're doing something right. I gotta applaud you doing something right. That's Off the, the dump. That's the important thing, right? Actions, man. Actions, actual actions, and not right. just campaign promises. Right. And as this nigga starts to cut the grass, right, man. Right. Well, that's that's our cue to get out, yep, out of here. Yeah, right. yeah, that's wrapping that. It's wrapping that good old bull. Nature said, "Fuck us, y'all be damn all right. that." Grass gotta get cut. It's a Sunday. Grass gotta get cut. Oh, and big ups to Michael B. Jordan who actually hit uh, old girl back, Naomi. Yeah, Osaka. Yeah. Osaka. Okay. And about to oh, he didn't hit up like that. But I think that was some cool shit that he sent the video out to her because you know she said um he was her crush, a celebrity crush, and you know he sent the video back basically congratulating her on her win, saying keep shining, keep shut up, son. He kept it professional. He kept it so professional and cool and real. If I want, I don't want to stifle shade it with with the baka baka baka. You feel me? Now, Drake out here with 18 year olds, so who knows? Now, that's a whole thing that I was looking at Drake kind of funny. I'm like, I don't know, Drake, about that. That's a little, I don't know. They probably do that shit all the time. They ain't no probably about it. So, yeah, man, listen to that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell that like Mr. Outer, you ain't gonna find me. And for Fly with Bats Podcast, episode 61, side B. Thank y'all for listening, man. I'm out, you. And it's me, your boy D Mac. Catch me on Instagram at FrenchBraid.kid and my clothing line at your dig five oh four. And thanks for thanks for I don't know, flying. And we'll see you next time. Pass and watch, your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the roof. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, that nigga cut that grass for like three seconds. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram at Joseph Alpha Man. I mean Alpha Joe five oh four J O without the E, Facebook Joseph Alpha Man Pines. Side B61, there it is. There he is. <laughs> he Side back. B, we out this bitch. Gumbo Monster 504 on YouTube. Flywithbats at gmail.com is the email. Reviewing that at gmail.com if you want to talk to that side of it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Leave five-star review. Leave us a comment. Leave us an email. We want to talk to you. Be part of the conversation. Yeah. We out, y'all. We, 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 been, we been pushed out. Yeah. Forcibly. Hand on my pouch, just waking up, watching homeboy house. Thinking about the day I had the press with wine play. When I say being a doctor was my goal, ambition, thing I wanted to be. Until I learned the work that it took, and I would be an infinite debt. Then I imagine myself 80 years old, dead with debt over my head. Too much doubt, gotta go another route. Once I got out of music, I ain't never getting out. I envision my life and how I'ma live it out. Kids and a wife, I hope I figure it out So until then, rule 10 Gotta wrap it up Cause life moves on Even if we get stuck So I turn back on the tube Now I'm on a cool Watch it set it off Wishing I would make moves The people was a fool But the blues, it would hit ya So you stay inside So them bullets might miss ya You can get your issue Any single day Make beats at my home So I never fade away Learning those and keys I gotta sit alone I used to pray to God But we don't get alone Preachers and believers 
Divas tryna turn me around, but I should still be proud even if I'm not down with G-O-D. My real F-A-T-H-E-R-O, not in my vision of tomorrow. He's still living, never forgiven, I oughta try and get alone, but twice he ran alone, so now I stand alone. But I ain't lonely, we cheese and turkey, used to be baloney. Smoke kid, go man up, but that that in an instant. Winning every day, see my past in the distance. I don't regret a thing, cause I love my existence. Kinda militant, but that's just sentiments from living this life. Still got an open mind, people surprised I never been shot, I did time. Step out on the porch, nothing never change. Stuttering Jerome, old girl, what's her name? There go old Missy, look at Miss Barbara, and the lady who made the frozen cups daughter. Yeah, I got smarter, learn from the dumb, been in my own lane, just never had my own drum. Used to rap about clapping, they never had a gun. I was just imitating, but with a little patience, I'm three years ahead of my time and stimulating for me to imagine what would have happened if I was saving like every week. Cause living off pennies ain't sweet, it's bitter You can be my nigga, but they don't mean that you fam Trust is like putting a loaded 48 in the hand Of a woman or a man who got a tour of your plans Now you're looking at your casket, the invisible man Causing the glam and entertainers the man Isn't what I need, have me like Joe Queen, Phoenix I rather never have an image, but shout out to the ladies and jicks who ever did it I ain't a known rapper, but I represent it Up on this track, New Orleans to the ending Looking at a picture, the past feels near But I'm living in the now when she so last year Gotta go to work, do I wanna go to sleep? Been up all night with this beat on repeat But life don't wait and money don't make itself I need stability, but what I want is wealth